Well, greetings again, everyone. It's Nick Michael Ike, along with two fantastic people. Thank you. Fantastic. First off, Trent Zuberi. Hello. Steve Frazier. Hello, hello. And ladies and gentlemen, it's Die Hard today. Yes, it so is. So guys, this is our commentary track, audio only, but you can sync it up with your own copy of Die Hard because why shouldn't you own a copy of Die Hard? Everybody should. So hit the timestamp to zero and hit play now. So begins the greatest Christmas movie ever made. It's a Christmas menage a toi here. <laughs> <laughs> no, never mind. <laughs> well, I'm in a room with two other guys. I don't know if all right, menage a all right. Well, okay. this is the right word okay. for you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> fantastic 20th Century Fox production. That's right. Yeah, it's one of our first 20th Century Fox film. Is, is it? it? Is it our first one? We've done like shit tons of Warner Brothers. Oh, wow. We just did a new line. Of new line of Paramount. Paramount, sure. This director, John McTiernan, I've never heard of that name. Most John McTiernan did Predator. Oh, okay. And then Hunt for October. Oh, what a beautiful oh, wow. film that is. So that's. Well, there's two big ones. So it's Predator, Die Hard, Hunt for October. So he, he really that's had a, a good run. That's a that trilogy a of run. films. But right is that there. it? Is that all he's really known for? Mainly, he, he did like the remake of Thomas Crown Affair. Uh, yeah. uh, he did uh, <clears throat> Die Hard with a Vengeance. Oh, oh he did really? Sure. Uh, did he do two? No, Renny Harlan did Oh, the Renny Harlan did two, right? Because it, it opens with a our, our, man uh, weightlifting nude. Dream Master <laughs> director. <laughs> oh, dear. All right. Anyway. Back to Die Hard, our <laughs> seasonal classic here. Season's greetings to everyone. <clears throat> Bruce Willis coming off of moonlighting here, looking young, youthful. Oh yeah, he was he was shooting moonlighting at the same time as this. Was he really at the same time? Yeah, oh, wow. he's like shooting moonlighting during the day and then this at night. Oh, okay, well, wow. that there's, well, he he had another good run too because yeah. He was like sexiest man alive at this point. Oh yeah, right? there a couple a year or two, yeah. I don't know if I see it. <laughs> oh, or maybe that rugged eighties. Good uh, enough for Demi Moore. I tell you what, Demi Moore though, she <laughs> was a ten in my book. <laughs> so she had strip tease phase. <laughs> you know, I, I liked her pre strip tease because she got the boob job, and I thought it was just I don't know, didn't do it for me. Yeah, and Ghost, the um, innocence of of her and Ghost. This teddy bear is outstanding. Um, <laughs> that's like F A O Schwartz. And it's two ninety nine ninety nine. That is a great time. <laughs> Such a classy party. This is how rich people have Christmas. <laughs> I've never uh, Bonnie, violins. Bonnie Bedelia is yeah. uh, <clears throat> beautiful aunt, aunt to uh, Macaulay Culkin. And I believe Reginald Bell Johnson. Yeah. Sure, as we all know, everyone's favorite Carl Winslow. Carl Winslow. Yes. <laughs> I've never worked for a company that like had a quote yeah. unquote Christmas party like this. Um, I, I have. It's I, but I, this it happens. Fun. This happens. This happens. Okay. This happens. I'm going to one Friday. And it, it happens like this. <laughs> and yeah. does does they have these like bougie waitresses and that walk around with platters? I, and I, they do. Stuff? They actually do. <laughs> That's fantastic. Can I come? <laughs> Look at this guy. This guy is 80 sleeves. He is a complete 80 sleeves. <laughs> Absolutely. Cool. I'm talking that beard is outstanding. <laughs> He's got great hair. And the, and the smirk. He's got the cocaine. I'm telling you, if anybody does cocaine, it's that guy. Oh, he does do cocaine. Oh, I know. He's the only. I want to be that guy's yeah. friend. It's, it's just hard, that, that hard smirk. Partner. The smirk <laughs> says, it says it all. He has a great line later on when he goes to the negotiation. Well, oh, yeah. Which I, which I never forgot. Which I, it's complete eighty sleaze business guy, which we'll get to soon. Yeah. He's a persistent son of a bitch. <laughs> totally a sales guy. Hundred percent. Look at that, the ugly sweater before it was a thing. <laughs> yeah, they never played on the kids further, did they? Like in the other uh movies. not to get to four and five. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> Where they're portrayed by like Mary Elizabeth Winsett and Jai Courtney. Gosh, how do you know that? <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> I know <laughs> things <laughs> without having. To. All right, I know so much trivia about films I've never seen before. <laughs> IMDb is a motherfucker. <laughs> there's there's the real subtle yeah. uh, 
picture yeah. of, of yeah. him in the background. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's good. She's got good 80s hair, too. Oh, I like yeah. The feathered like hair? Yeah. Yeah. That's my jam. Yeah. Hola. Hola. Oh. She does say hola. She does say hola. Hola, Miss <laughs> uh, So, obviously, they're rich enough to have a housekeeper or a nanny or yeah. an yeah. au pair she, or whatever the fuck. She's, she's banking. She's working for yeah. Nakatomi. They, they pay great <clears throat> stock options. <laughs> 401k. 401. Right. She's great health benefits. She's doing great. So, if they have life insurance. Aren't they planning on getting a divorce, though? There's... Maybe not. There you go. There's your sign. There's yeah. your divorce. Uh, uh, so. uh, on the edge of it, yeah. I mean, he's There's, trying. Is that Rod Stewart there <laughs> behind? <laughs> he's got that hair. Oh, yeah, shit. he's got that Rod Stewart <laughs> mullet, he's for Christ's sake. That guy. That, what a great cameo. <laughs> <laughs> great mustache on that guy. Yeah. <laughs> great spandex. Great spandex on, on that lady. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're too busy looking at the guys, and there's a girl in spandex. <laughs> huh. Oh, you're just, you're this the guy, man. this Argyle. guy's out of control. <laughs> you're very fast, Argyle. <laughs> He's like 17. <laughs> How old is this cat? No more than 18. <laughs> Was he in anything else? Has this guy been in anything? God damn, I don't know if I've ever seen him in anything else. I can help. <clears throat> he has that personality that some casting director saw him, and this oh, was yeah. like, get me that guy for whatever. Probably saw him like a Burger King commercial or something. Yeah. You, you think he got, goes around not like you know forty seven? He's like, you know that was our guy. You know <laughs> die hard. He absolutely he absolutely operates as our guy. That's where you in, know me in from. his everyday life. A hundred percent. Devereaux White is his name. Dever. Oh yeah, De- I saw that name in the. Name. It yeah, it's even got an apostrophe. T Devereaux. Let's say a small part in the Blues Brothers. Oh really? Eh. As a guitarist. That was like years before this. Yeah. Oh yeah. What was he like? Twelve? He was a twelve-year-old guitarist in the Blues Brothers. Born in '65. Shut up. No way. He's like 22 in this movie. Get out. Well, it's okay. 22, I guess. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> a good LA shot there. Yeah. He's got 32 acting credits. 32? Uh, what's, what's his last one? Last one was in something called Workaholics, and before that, uh, Sandbar, and there's like 12 years of nothing. Workaholics I, was a, a thing. Hmm. I, I didn't see it, but... Yeah, I heard about I it. I remember that it. That had a name, though. It was in something called Frankenstein, the College Years. <laughs> oh, okay, he was in Head of the Class for like a couple seasons. The TV show? That's, yeah, where I, that's why I looked a little familiar, yeah. Aristotle McKenzie. That's okay. it, that's right away. Head of the Class. I have not seen that show. That guy died, eons. right? That's... Sorry, we're not. Sorry to everyone. We're not talking about and, Die Hard. That's and okay. He was in Action Jackson with Carl Weathers. Oh, oh, there you go. There you go. You know what? The opening credits are still rolling. We're fine. Yeah, we can we can be tangential <laughs> here. Yeah, nothing's really happened yet. <laughs> no. Look at the old tape deck. Tape deck. There we go. So, true story. I the car that I own right now that I got in 2016 mm. is the first car that I ever had with a CD player in it. Uh-huh. Um, because I had my Saturn had a tape cassette player, and I said, well, I can adapt a CD player to the cassette player, yeah, yeah. and I can listen to all my cassettes that I had from growing up. I loved a cassette player. Yeah, we just, I, I, like a couple of audiobooks I had, or uh, my cassette single for Dream Warriors. Oh, I just, oh I just, yeah. I would put, I put it in the Walkman and then use the audio aux cable. Into the, sure. the dashboard. Okay, absolutely. <laughs> Anybody listening to this commentary, watching this movie, we're pretty safe on the fact that they probably know what a tape deck is, right? Yes. Because <laughs> if, you're, if you're bored after right. uh, 99, you probably have no idea what we're yeah. talking about right yeah. now. <laughs> but that shouldn't stop you from loving Die Hard. Yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> you should still be watching this, even if yeah. you're eight. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, we just passed I'm sorry it. we say fuck so much if you're eight. <laughs> Don't tell mom. <laughs> but yeah, we just, just passed the on-screen credit that this was based on a novel. I was going to say, I didn't cool. know it was based on a novel. Nothing yeah. Lasts Forever, which was a sequel to a this novel guy. called this The guy. Detective, this guy. which was made into a film starring Frank Sinatra. Oh, yeah? So technically this is sort of, sort of, kind of... A remake? Uh, sort of, kind of, a sequel to a Frank Sinatra film, because they're both adapted from the same series of novels. It says Merrill Lynch right on the door there. <laughs> Inter- interesting tie-in, Bruce Willis's film debut... Was in a Frank Sinatra. Yeah, he's like movie, a, right? a like a. He's just a guy walk like a doorman. Actually, something. just walks past Sinatra. Yeah, yeah. It's like uh, 1980 or something like that. Touchscreen, yeah. very big yeah. in uh, CRT. Touchscreen. 
But this, so this building is actually the 20th Century Fox building. It's yeah. on the lot. The Fox Plaza. At Fox Plaza. I, I, I was there. Yeah, and, that's so cool. And my sister's like, <clears throat> you recognize that building? And the, I was like, it's Nakatomi <laughs> Tower. Nak- Nakatomi Plaza. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? And she's like, that's the 20th Century Fox building. And even though it was made by Fox, they still had to charge them the rent. Yeah. To, to, to rent out the building and everything. Hilarious. And apparently, like, they're sending off explosions on the top of the tower, and they feel in work, actually working in the Fox office oh, below. Now, is this lobby also <laughs> in that oh, yeah. building, or is I, this I, a soundstage? I believe all they of this is all there. Is, is they all they there, saved yeah. on it by filming the whole thing there. Yeah. So if I walk into 20th Century Fox, yeah, it looks you can like see this it right, right outside here. The, door the funny thing is, there. most of the offices are not even in that building anymore. They moved them into another building. Yeah. And, uh, like, down the way. Yeah. Well, that's not conspicuous <laughs> at all. <laughs> Yeah, the whole the whole like lot's really cool where that thing. So this kind of sits at the end of it, but mm-hmm. the whole area is pretty cool. They have like, you know, the the uh, multi use like streets and storefront things and everywhere, and then the different sound stages and stuff. It's pretty mm-hmm. neat. I always liked this box looking limo. I I like those yeah, those hard hard limo. edges. Yeah, yeah. The ones yeah. now are too rounded and and stupid. Yeah, I don't know. They don't have the same appeal. I was always like him, like when I went to like a like a girlfriend's Christmas party or her thing. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, I'm too cool to be here. Like, yeah. I don't really want to be here, but fuck you guys <laughs> anyway. You know, like that smug look he's got. For some reason, I always did the same thing. Like, what am I even doing here? I don't know anybody here. Fuck this party. <laughs> yeah, whatever. But I came just yeah. for you. You're just like, <laughs> where is she? Where is she in this, this yeah. mass of people? Just like, can we go? And, and that look on his face says it all. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. It, it, can it's we like, go now? Like, I'm, I'm done already. Does he like the freaking booze? Yeah, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Taco Bell. <laughs> that really is kind I mean, of an unsung. I think everything. Well, go ahead. I was going to say that it's such a, a great thing, and I guess it's a tribute to him at being an actor mm-hmm. in that. He did not have to say one word walking into this room. Yeah. And the three of us and everyone listening now knows exactly how he feels. Totally. Yeah. And all because of two faces he made. Yeah. yeah. That's I mean, good acting. I think yeah. he's completely the New Yorker in L.A. Yeah. Know, like, like, he's like, so out of place. It's not my place at all. Yeah. It's just not... Eh. Takaki. Yeah. Takaki is a great Japanese businessman. <laughs> the name, too. Yeah. yeah. I was going to mention, I think everything, er, everything that's shot <clears throat> in this place is soundstage because you can kind of tell... When you look out the windows and whatnot, oh, yeah, it, look, yeah. it looks like the, like a big tarp drop backdrop. But like when they film the out the exterior yeah. scenes in the parking lot and all that, so that's Cause all apparently because like later on in the film they're blowing shit up whatnot, so they they weren't. Yeah. Oh, he's doing do some that. top dollar toot oh, there yeah. at the table. <laughs> top dollar L A. Nakatomi toot. <laughs> Nakatomi toot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Takagi's like, you fucking snorted my life. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> right, that right. Save some for me. <laughs> McLean says, oh, you missed some. <laughs> Does he? <laughs> he missed yeah. some. That's yeah. great. He probably left some on his beard. You gotta watch out with that beard, man, Trent. <laughs> it's, uh, a, it's almost like the L.A. was painted on the mini blinds. Yeah, there. exactly <laughs> what I mean, yeah. It's a little too obvious. Even that plant is so 80s. I don't see anybody with that plant in their house anymore. No. But in the 80s, everyone, everyone had that plant. Had that fucking plant. I everyone. Don't know what that plant is. What kind of plant is that? I don't know. Central some kind of fern. Warehouse. Some kind of fern, I think. It's not a ficus. That's for sure. Oh. We should be plugging a plant YouTube channel right now. For more information on those plants and ficuses, <laughs> check, check out the green. HGTV. YouTube check out the green channel. leaf. YouTube channel. <laughs> That's probably a thing, and they're probably wanting money now. <laughs> Monetize the video. We don't want to be associated with your shit. <laughs> there's a, there's another look. He's so good at he's the good. look. Chris yeah. Wells is phenomenal. He's like he's he's, he's, he's phenomenal with the look. <laughs> McLean's like I've seen a thousand of these guys, and they're all yeah. a piece like of stuff. Like he knows, you know, that they're pieces of like, shit. There's I, a I, record store. I like that. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah there we Century go. City. McDonald's in the background. There's a great shot of the gas station later on with the prices. That's a great one. Um, oh yeah, there's always really time pieces in this movie. <laughs> oh yeah, every time. Why is he already shirtless? <laughs> yeah, he's in her office. His wife. He's thinking about <laughs> putting, you know, putting it down. 
<laughs> before he gets out to the party. So. I mean, he was just wearing two additional clothes, pieces of clothing on top of that. Oh, uh, it's the friend is wallpaper. It's burning his, uh, burning the clothes off his back. <laughs> the gold wallpaper. There's some Evian water. They probably paid to have that sitting yeah. right there. Di- directly in the middle. <clears throat> of the yeah, frame. I wonder. I wonder how many more times we'll get Evian right in camera view because it wasn't Greeked at all. It's funny. It's like. You think back, like, I never heard of Evian until, like, the mid-90s. Yeah. Here, at least. But it was, like, already a thing there being, yeah. being plugged. What what year was this? 88. 88. Filmed in 87, I always, right? I always feel like it's earlier than that. Yeah. yeah. I always kept thinking it was 87, but I keep getting screwed up with Lethal Weapon in yeah. that regard. Yeah. Yeah. What a, what a year for, what a decade for action, though, man. Yeah. I mean, this is, like, towards the end of that decade, and that, you're still going strong. Whoop. So they were really going to go into her office and phone? <laughs> yeah. I need to work for Takagi. <laughs> you can just <laughs> fuck in anybody's office. <laughs> just why not? Look at this wallpaper. You're right. You get, you Foil get, wallpaper. You get fucking, you get fucking Takagi. <clears throat> Imagine you get Takagi like that. Coke. The afternoon banging, sun. And... <laughs> banging in offices. Imagine you had the afternoon sun in this room. It's like, Jesus. Why did every freaking It's like day. one of those sun visor things that the girls <laughs> hold up in their... <laughs> That big old scar on his arm. <laughs> Here we go. Here's your fight. There we go. These two. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> just letting it out. There we go. Right. Let's just now. Now, now we begin to understand what the whole the conflict. Yeah. What, what What's really going on? Because. You got you get a little something here and there with how he's just reacting, but now you can get. The, what's really going on with, with the two and why he's flying in to meet her in L.A. and all that shit. Does Bonnie appear in two? Okay. Yeah, she's on the yeah. plane. Yeah, she's, plane. yeah. 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 But she's last, not in three, though. She's on no, the phone in three. Yeah, it's not it, yeah. A, she was the last time she shows up in the franchise, which is unfortunate. Well, they're, like, separated again in three or something. Like, they're trying to work it yeah, out. Yeah. Right? It's like the ongoing in, joke of the series. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's she's in L.A. and he goes back to New York as, as a cop. He's all hung over for the whole film. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Vengeance is great, though. I, yeah. I love that one. Uh oh, some shit's about to go yeah. down. You know, it was so easy to commit crime in the eighties. <laughs> <laughs> it's like rent a car, get like for some reason you can it's come like, across a huge posse of guys who act think. And act just like you. And they always, and have all the same accents too. They always include a couple different f- <laughs> foreigners from every like like walk of life, you know, different body size. Everybody, and, it's so diverse. And how easy and was it, it to get explosives? <laughs> and it's where it's like so you can walk into fucking Kmart and say, it's like ninety eight percent percent of Hans's guys are all like German. Then there's like Theo, the the black American one black guy, guy, and the one, <laughs> well, you and the one Asian black. dude. You gotta have that. Look at this hair. Right. Not this, this guy. This guy. I always wanted to just hit. A Theo. This yeah. guy is yeah. awesome. Carl's awesome. I love. Carl's awesome. It's pretty ruthless. Yeah. But He's... this. But this nerd I, oh, yeah. bothers me so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he's like frat boy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like he knows he's smart. They, he knows <laughs> they need him. <laughs> I think he does. He have a scene in Cliffhanger. This guy. Cliffhanger. I don't know. I yeah, it's been I'm, 20 years I, since I've seen I, I, I saw seen that finger like I once saw. or twice. That's an underrated movie, guys. Yeah. I gotta put that out. I got there. the DVD. I just haven't watched it much. No oh, big Stallone mark. Oh, it's, but I, like, I've heard. And, <laughs> and it's directed by Reddy Harley, who did Die Hard too. So he did. He did a Die Hard sequel and a Die Hard clone. There is a connection. <laughs> one of these guys. One of the, one of the, the posse here is definitely in in Cliffhanger. Mm-hmm. And, and here our big we go. reveal. There it is. Screen debut. Man. Alan Rickman. Oh, that is sc- this is a screen debut? Shut up, really? No. His, his first one? His first film. He had only done stage work before this. Are you this. kidding me? This is a phenomenal debut. This is his what film a way, debut. What a way to start. And can we talk about how good he looks? Oh, yeah. The goatee and the cloth oh, yeah. on his... And then the suit and all that stuff. Just like... Oh, he's great. He perfect. peaked in his first film. <laughs> I n- he never, never looked better. I never would have guessed this was his first film. Oh, I mean, yeah. I knew he was a stage guy and he did yeah. you know, Shakespeare yeah, and stuff. And, and he was he was kind of trepidation about taking the role because he, he didn't want like his first film for to be a villain or whatnot, but... God damn. Well, and I... Like, you know, you and I were talking about earlier, 
Hans Gruber is one of like the all-time marquee bad guy characters yeah. in cinema history. Exactly. Oh yeah. And hundred percent. And to come out as your debut. Yeah. And like suddenly become yeah. you know Mount Rushmore worthy. Mm-hmm. Look at him. Just got the fucking presence. I mean, he doesn't have the... And, and that, that's so interesting because stage work is so big. You have to be very big and very verbose and theatrical to, to reach the people all the way in the back of the theater to see what you're doing. Right. He's so good at the subtle here. He just he just walks in a scene and you know this, what this guy's about. So the, the Doesn't big, have to do anything. He just stands there and the camera just makes it work. The blonde, the big blonde henchman, Carl. Oh, yeah. yeah, Alexander Goodenough. T- he... Died in like ninety five. Oh jeez. Yeah, it natural. I didn't know that. Quote, according to IMDb, it's quote unquote natural causes, which usually means something else mm. when it's when it's in quotes. Yeah. But he only did ten movies. Yeah. Only thing else I, I probably saw him in something else beyond this, but he's like Waxwork Two. This guy's got a bad look. Uh, Can we right. all agree that this guy? Yeah, he's, yeah. Later on, when he's just all wearing sweats or whatnot, it's like you couldn't get dressed for the big heist. Theo is the, is the nerdy guy, right? Yeah, the black yeah. dude. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. He's Clarence Gilliard Jr. He was he did a ton yeah. of stuff. Oh, yeah. He was a uh, Walker, Texas Ranger, Matlock. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, he did a ton of shit. Oh, no, Matlock. So all oh, of yeah, our yeah, senior yeah. citizens yeah, listening yeah, yeah. will know him. Yes. <laughs> Listen, I, gotta, I love Matlock, man. I, I am a huge Matlock. Hey, Andy Griffith's still kicking around, man. He's still going, man. <laughs> Looking strong. I didn't recognize Clarence Gilliard. I mean, he usually doesn't have the glasses on. That's what it is. Have you, have you guys ever done this the whole I tried fist it. with the toes? I'm doing it. it. I'm doing it right now, actually. <laughs> it did nothing for me after I got off the plane. I've done it after a flight. It did nothing for me. And I'm, I'm not a good flyer anymore. <laughs> nice production photos here with the, the kids and all that stuff. Family photos. That tuft of chest hair is really rubbing me the wrong way. I'm really angry about it. <laughs> I don't know why, <laughs> but it angers me. <laughs> just make, make it all the work of that wallpaper, man. Oh, man yeah. It's like the most audacious looking stuff. What I a think. shot this is. <laughs> we got Argyle rocking it out with the teddy bear. Yeah, this film was shot by Jan de Bont, who also did, uh, he directed Speed. Right. So again... Oh. It was shot a die hard, die hard, then directed a die hard clone. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. And he shot a whole fun. He's an amazing cinematographer. He did uh, work with really Scott on Black Rain, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Yeah, the name the, is very. The familiar. guy is. I think just does direction now, but cinematography wise, guy was brilliant. Speed's and, under, Speed's an underrated movie. Like yeah. in, when it, when you think back, it never gets mentioned in those like good lists, you know. Speed's awesome, though. Speed might have been my favorite movie of all time when I saw it in 95. <laughs> I loved it in 95. Yeah. I had a VHS, wore that thing out. Darn right. <laughs> yeah, I was always, I was always like, point break guy, but Speed's good. Good stuff. Speed is definitely cool. Dennis Hopper's great in Speed. It, it's kind of ridiculous when you look back at it now. Oh, sure. Unlike this movie, which, I mean, it's ridiculous, but it's still great. It's got enough gravity to it, what it's doing. I mean... That's a good word. That's a good word to describe things. I gotta start yeah. using the gravity. <laughs> you spend this whole film talking about the art direction here. Jesus. You can at least put your goddamn shoes on right now. Right? This was right. your one. Uh, yep. This was your one shot to <laughs> Too do. Too busy it. playing squishy toes. <laughs> but this was his shot to put the shoes on. Yeah. Like quickly just slip them on, man. You'll thank <laughs> I love the lighting. Yeah. <clears throat> I think this guy. Oh, the... oh, see. Oh, yeah. They picked a on. different office, and look out. Yeah. You get your one. Yeah. You get your. Boot God, shot. look at that hair. Now, this guy, I think, I think he plays Vigo in Ghostbusters too. Oh, is this him? I think that's him. I have heard he's a complete fucking asshole too. Oh, yeah. And he's dead as well. I yeah. Mean, he he died dead. a while ago. Yeah. I can't get over this guy's hair on the yeah, left. That's like that, that Wilhelm is von. That is Humberg or something like that. He has a really weird story. If you ever read about his, uh, I think it's on his IMDb. Mm. But his like life story is really, really bizarre. Yeah. There's a huge like BuzzFeed article about him recently. Mm. About he's a really strange guy. The yeah. blonde guy. Yeah, the, the other ponytail guy. guy. The ponytail. One. Oh, the okay. Yeah, Vigo. The, he was the Vigo, and Vigo the Carpathian. <laughs> but he's got a really wacky story. If you can find it, somebody did a whole thing about him, and he's yeah. nuts. Well, that was the other thing in Ghostbusters too. They had to overdub. 
his his lines with a, not, yeah. a different like German actor who was also like pretty yeah, thick accented. God damn it! I the name of where are they dubbed over? I know the name. I just I can't remember. But somebody they released like on YouTube his. His original, audio. The original, His original audio. audio, and it's like, god damn, he has yeah. like no inflection. It's awful. Look at yeah, the, what is this tattoo? I think he sh- he shows up in John Carpenter's In the Mouth of Madness, and he, his vo- voice is very much different. Yeah, this show was that that show was always kind of weird, where he you know, looks over, looks across the way and just sees the woman out there. It's like, yeah, what was that? What was never you never felt the, a, a good enough context for that shot. Yeah, what was the point of that shot? Yeah. Well, it's not like he ever interacts with her. Yeah, right? it's not or like he ever proximity. To, I'm gonna jump to that building yeah. or something. Right. Like, he never talks about lusting after another woman. Yeah. Like, it's yeah, pointless. Like nothing, yeah. nothing really worked <laughs> up to that. So here's your here's your setup. Yeah. I like that when you get back to the white shot. Carl's just leaning against the thing. He's that one of the guys throwing the pointing a gun around. He's like laid back. He's in charge too. Yeah. The right hand man. Where's Mister Takagi? Yoshinobu. Takagi's Teka- mm-hmm. a great character. He's got a good look. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Everyone in this yeah. movie has a good look. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, I especially like Takagi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Takagi. I love that guy. <laughs> yeah, this oh. guy is, is phenomenal. Ellis is just the fucking best. <laughs> Yeah, Takagi really cool. just, yeah. I mean, that's straight out of central casting yeah. of, like, Japanese business. Yeah, oh, yeah, Japanese business. They've got all the other runner-ups in the scene, too. So. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. Every single one of these Japs here tried out for Takagi and didn't yes. get it. Yes, They said, you father know what? Oh, we could throw that last line in. That father of five. Yes. Jeez, Takagi's nice. busy. Well, he's like, he was born in 37, so he's... Yeah. yeah, that's true. He's been like around fifty at yeah. the time of this movie. Yeah, yeah he's, he's he's made his coffee. Let's say. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I want some coffee. It's kind of nice how how they're having McLean kind of go through. You're gonna get a little preview of some of the locations. They're gonna have stuff out later. So mm-hmm. just suddenly giving you a well, he has a to ge- have a geography of the. This of, is how he building. has knowledge of the yeah. other areas. So it's giving yeah. the audience that information too, a general idea of where things are laid out. How awful would it have been if later on in the movie he just discovers like this empty w- room? Yeah. yeah, and you know, and you're like, well, how did you know that was there? Yeah, that's, that's screenwriting. Can, that's bad screenwriting. Right. This, this is this good is, screenwriting. This is a good one. Yeah, look, look at this multi. There, there, this is like diverse group, man. Yeah, it's like it's the United Nations. The guy who, uh, they didn't even have electrocuted rigs and lethal weapon. The, the Asian dude with the long hair. This, this, this Same is, guy. Yeah, he's always a henchman. Because it's, it's not a fucking Joel Silver movie, so why not? Like get get get, get, speed get, dial. get Barry over here again. We need him for a henchman <laughs> role. You got <laughs> Barry. That guy's name isn't Barry. <laughs> yeah, well, I should find out what his real name is because he's like almost like. Known for that type of shit, like I hope that these models like still exist somewhere. And everything too. Probably somewhere in the twentieth century, just chilling. El Leon is, is our Asian gentleman. He's in uh, was he Genghis also in Bill, Khan and Bill and Ted? Ted's That's, I knew. Adventure. I knew that was him. Yeah, I knew that was him. Big Trouble in Little China, a whole bunch of other shit. The guys, <laughs> guys like got yeah, like just one tons of, of roles, stunt work, all this type of shit. So. Again, like like I said, I mean, cinematography is fantastic in this one. They keep giving you geography of everything. Yeah. You have that whip pan and whatnot to see where McLean is to, uh, in relation to everyone else. And again, I mean, Rickman adding in all the the sophistication to the character. Mm-hmm. Where you make it compelling in that type of way, where he doesn't have to oversell the threat. You know what the threat is, right? If you read, so just he, he read the have, script. He, yeah. he, do, he doesn't have to do much. He just lets the scene play the scene. Yeah, and there—that's what I was saying. If you just read the script yeah. mm-hmm. and you read, you know, these lines, you're like, "This doesn't sound all that interesting." Right? Yeah. Rickman took sit down 
mm-hmm. and you could have read that a dozen different ways. Yeah. But God, he's so I don't know. There's there's an intensity, and he's very a precision del- to what he's it's doing. His timing, like yeah. his delivery and timing, calculate is, is phenomenal. It's calculated in every beat he wants because that reflects the character. He's taking every single step to plan every little beat out for his entire situation, what he wants, wants to do, and what he needs to do. And that comes off in the performance, too. So he, he takes that methodology of the character, applies it into the performance. And what I also like is that he's he's a quiet talker. Yeah. Which is contrary to the screen or the stage thing. Yeah. But, you know, he's he's kind of a like a Jake Roberts character here yeah. because, you know, everything is <laughs> yeah. about... Makes you listen. Makes about, you listen. Right. Yeah. I mean, and that's that's something that you have to teach actors to, mainly on film or whatnot. You don't want to go up and show the peak of what you can do, because then that doesn't leave anywhere else to go. You got to play it down more to give the audience uh, a sense of tension with the character. If they can simmer something out, boil it up, you can see, imagine in your mind how much further they can go with where where their anger can go, where their temperament can go. See, Takagi, he's, he's arguing for no reason. Here. Yeah. All right. they want is 10% it, of his operating yeah. capital. He thinks these guys can be bargained with. They, they, it, it, he, Takagi thinks he's smarter than the, these guys. That's the That's thing. Takagi's an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, mean, he, I mean, he legit just said to him, I just want yeah. 10% of your operating capital. It's like, 10% from my life and everybody? Yeah, hey, you know what? Yeah. Go right let ahead. Let me write you a check. Yeah. Let, me, let me throw in a fucking pizza. Why don't you get some drinks downstairs yeah. while you're at it? Right. Here's Takagi with right. this bullshit. Yeah. There were people walking yeah. around with yeah. crudite. You can you can have some. Yeah. Takagi with this nonsense. <laughs> of, oh, well, listen, it's useless to you. I mean, you, got, you really want yeah. that 10%? What kind of criminal are you? And, and Hans is always like, well, if it's useless, then there's no reason not to give it to us. Everybody knows. It, it's all this type of stuff where Takagi thinks like, up until this moment now, where he's not thinking anything else. It's just like, he thinks he holds all the cards. Like, if I don't give you what you want, then you're, you're, you're stonewalled. It's like, no. Well, they, they didn't go through all this effort, just uh, most of all little information. They have plans, they have backups, they have everything. Blew his fucking brains out, man. And everybody who's ever worked a job that has, you know, dealt with money or the public Mm -hmm. like rule number one is if you're being robbed just hand over the money yeah chances are he's insured they don't have they don't have all this hardware for nothing i'm gonna assume that takagi corporation's insured i would guess i'm just gonna think about i I think legally you have to have insurance to operate a business so hand over the money and i read that apparently i guess if, if you notice whenever Rickman fires a gun, they immediately cut away from it because I guess Rickman probably didn't have much experience with firearms, so oh, really? every time he did, he'd flinch. Oh, really? Yeah. I would flinch too. Yeah. So obviously, I've never worked with blanks or whatnot. It's always been just like model guns and whatnot, so it's all post production shit for me. You need blanks. Yeah, you need you need it for the, the the full thing. Look at this guy's hair. Look at the hair. I was just gonna Everybody's say. Everybody's got yeah. hair. It's, it's like some ramen noodle yeah. shit there. Yeah, that is definitely ramen noodle. <laughs> that being said, I, I think I'm gonna have some ramen noodle. When you get home, <laughs> yeah, I think so. In honor of this guy, <laughs> you know, I've got henchmen from Die Hard. <laughs> Delicious cream of chicken hair. <laughs> That hair, not so good. (laughs) The movie almost takes place in real time. I actually think it would have been cool if they'd have rewritten it. If they'd have rewritten it so that it was in real time. Oh yeah, I mean, it it wouldn't have been that hard to just make that you know ninety minutes instead of two hours. Yeah, I mean, there's there's not many time jumps in the film. There's a, a few little ones here and there, but not too much. He's so wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just love that. The little smirk is like, yeah. I, can't I, got, I, it, I got it all bagged up. Don't worry about it. I can't get over this tattoo. Can we get a good look at this yeah, tattoo? Is. is it a real tattoo? <laughs> it, that's what I was wondering. Because it's like a skull. 
wearing a top hat or some <laughs> something weird. Yeah, that is something <laughs> Bruce Willis would have done yeah. growing up when yeah. he turned 18 and he went to the Bowery somewhere. <laughs> I'm going to get this fucking tattoo, dude. <laughs> we got Huey Lewis down yeah. there at the desk. Yeah, he's definitely a Huey Lewis looking dude. <laughs> God damn it. Is. That guy's waiting to take it up the ass. <laughs> <laughs> sweatpants boy. Who wears sweatpants to this job? Exactly. Yeah, if you're going to pull a heist, you got to be comfortable. Come on. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm thinking, I mean, like, i got to be comfortable. Rickman's here. wearing a $2,000 suit. But he's, he's, got, he's got an image to maintain here. If I I'm guess. just, like, some, some like, cog in the wheel, I'm, 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 thinking, yeah, I'm thinking sweatpants. I suppose you're right, because... This Huey... bastard's not wearing shoes. <laughs> Talk oh, about he was playing life. squishy toe. You missed the whole thing. Okay, I'm trying to look at the, the tat and everything. Well, yeah, I brought it up earlier, I mean, and then... They... I mean, if they didn't want it in the film, they could just cover it up with makeup if they wanted to. I mean... Well, that just makes me wonder, like... Ooh, Ralph's. I wonder if Ralph's is still there. Ralph, I think can Ralph's some, is still can there, somebody actually. Google Ralph's and find out what Ralph's is? <laughs> I, uh, I, I could text my sister who lives down the street there. Not <laughs> far from this. I can ask her if Ralph's is right find, here. We need to find out if Ralph's is still a thing. You know, I'm um, going to get live. We're going to live to tape right here. Live to tape. Is Ralph's still a <laughs> thing? I'm my sister who lives right down there. Okay. And she, she can tell me. <laughs> this is going to be great. So uh, the question is if it's not a real tattoo. Why would they give him that tattoo? Yeah. So it must be real. And then that begs the question, why did he get it? Because it's yeah. bad. <laughs> this this <laughs> question I'm asking her might be met with a, what the fuck what the are fuck you asking? Well, you point. know what? So... <laughs> We, we try to we try to answer the tough questions yes. here on these these commentaries yes. for you people because I know I know there's got to be people out there like me that watch movies and there's, don't pay attention to what's going yeah. on and only look at background shit and go. The so far the response was maybe and why. Okay. <laughs> Can we get a phone number? Can somebody, let's. I want to call Live Ralphs. Calls. I want to. I want to call Ralphs and see if Ralphs. I just want to ask him how late they're open tonight. Do you have some Twinkies for Sergeant Al Powell for us? <laughs> we haven't seen Carl Winslow yet. You won't hurt me. Why not? Because there are <laughs> rules for policemen, Trent. <laughs> mm-hmm. See, okay, so it's yeah, like yeah. a skull it's wearing a, a top, top hat. hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's very bizarre. I don't know. I, I can't think. I can't think of another film where he's like shirtless, bare, sh- bare sleeves and whatnot. That's not a Die Hard film. There's got to be one. There's got to be. What was that? That he's in that most famous sex scene of all time, right? Oh, the pool. Col- Color, Color of Night. Color of Night. <laughs> where you see his dick. <laughs> oh. So can we? We need to re- revisit <laughs> this to find out if. Next commentary is Color of Night. <laughs> Color of Night. We're just going to fast forward to the yeah. sex scene. We're just going to commentate the sex scene. Because it lasts like 15 minutes. I may know that from some kind of research. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I imagine a 15-year-old Trent renting. Not, Color renting, of Night. not renting. Owning on VHS. Oh, owning on VHS. Oh, did you, did the you need to own that one. The unrated director's cut. Uh, you need to own that one. <laughs> Look at this system they have here. Oh, yeah. The future. Yeah. I mean, this is really high tech for back then. It's like RoboCop shit right here. So here begins (laughs) the really poor uh, costume department (laughs) with Willis's (laughs) t-shirt. Because at some point, and I was going to save this, but... I'm pretty sure at some point they just they just put on a brown tank top. I wouldn't doubt it. it. It's not even dirty. They just give him a brown. Yeah, after one. he gets out of the uh, the, the air ducts, <laughs> yeah. and whatnot, it's just all brown. All right, so I got I got confirmation. Okay, <laughs> straight from my sister, Summer Zuberi, out in L.A. It is still right behind 20th Century Fox. Excellent. <laughs> Ralph's is still there. Amazing. <laughs> that is fantastic. <laughs> so that is a live shot. <laughs> that, will, that is a real live update, Spiel. We're, we're, we're giving you the the real shit here. That's right. It's almost thirty years later. And God bless Ralph. Still in business. This is amazing. Ralph. 
Ralph's dies it's hard. Gotta, it's got to... It's got to... It's a business that dies hard, man. <laughs> Press stop. It's over. It's a, yeah, <laughs> roll, roll credits. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Good night. <laughs> Happy holidays. Good Lord. <sighs> Look at this. I mean, this is this is like fucking MacGyver right here, man. Well, MacGyver became a just like that's the a term, verb, a verb for yeah. like yeah. doing something crafty with other things. <laughs> <laughs> like, like if I put if why, I hold up a table with a book, it's like I'm MacGyver. Why are these two having those stances? <laughs> Power stances. Because Rick man. Rickman is eating a damn straight an hors d'oeuvre. Yeah, Wait, you might as well enjoy the food. There. And the other two are standing so stiff and awkward. <laughs> it was. That was like, <laughs> look menacing. <laughs> you got it, boss. I mean, look at that. Why are you standing yeah. like that, sir? They understand you have a gun. It's a big gun. Fabio there. Look at yeah, that Fabio. Is, yes. It's kind of. He almost looks like Steve Perry. All right, so <laughs> yeah, Steve Perry face with a Fabio build. <laughs> so, this is like the most famous line in the movie, right? <laughs> this is the one that everybody I mean other than Yippie Kaye. <laughs> this is what makes it a Christmas movie right here. Yes. When you read, when you read Absolutely. Sweater. Now I have <laughs> a machine gun. Ho ho ho. It's officially a Christmas movie now. <laughs> I love that he reads the shirt. <laughs> He has to translate for the rest of the guys who don't speak English in the group. German. <laughs> we were still we were still fighting the Germans, man, in the eighties. <laughs> Russia and Europe, fucking Europe was an issue here in the eighties. <laughs> still had the Berlin Wall. God damn it! <laughs> I just love how in a moment here he knows how, knows to spell Carl with a K. Oh, well, yeah, it's German. German. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's common sense at that point. <laughs> and we haven't gotten Carl Winslow yet. He's, he's Carl with a C because yeah. he's a black American. He's a black guy. Yeah, he's he's, he's just Carl with a C. <laughs> he's just Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Carl wasn't trying to deal with this shit tonight. <laughs> and, he, and he's also a cop in Ghostbusters. He plays a cop all everywhere. <laughs> he's only a cop. Stock cop. Complete, Stock cop. Completely typecasted as a cop. <laughs> but he's a great, like, average guy cop. But he's not <laughs> even a good cop archetype. <laughs> he's a no. cop. He's a terrible cop. <laughs> he's like bumbling. He's donut goofy. shop cop. Yes. He, he, he was a great, he was a great for a sitcom cop. Yes. Perfect. Um, like yeah, I just I write a few tickets, you know, whatever. Buy a donut, yeah. jerk off, go to bed. You know, like he's that kind of cop. Speaking of jerking off, right? There, you go. there we go. More we got... boobs. Hello. I love how he takes a look though. He I does. love that he leers, yeah. just leers at it. So is that <laughs> needs something to live for, that's man? That's the link to that naked lady across I the. Guess. Across I guess. I still don't get that scene. Though. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Oh, least... pissed. <laughs> but. Uh... Why they put it put put the naked chick up there is that later on when he's going through back through everything getting away from the terrorists, it, it's a mile it's a it's a like a landmark, landmark for him. Okay, to know where he is. You just brought up a good point. It's nice. It, at any point in this movie, do they use the word terrorist? They they, they do. They do. Takagi yeah. said it. Too. Takagi. Okay. He, he yeah. said, "Do you think we are terrorists?" Well, he and they well, he, said, he said, "We well, said, what kind of terrorists are you?" Said, and then you the terrorists? cops all think they're terrorists because he starts giving off demands and free these people that he saw in fucking Time magazine or some shit. I just think it's so yeah. interesting how that word means something completely different now oh, than it yeah. did in nineteen, you know, eighty eight. Eighty eight. Yeah. And even then, it's like that's not what they actually are. That's their cover. For everything else of the film, they make everyone else think that they are, mm -hmm. because it works towards their entire plan, their agenda of making the cops and the FBI think they're terrorists, so they have demands. It's why they have hostages or whatnot. Yeah. Giving the whole thing of the robbery a complete smokescreen. Shall I? <laughs> there we go. They're just letting it all rip. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they say terrorists a whole lot in yeah. this movie. I feel like if this mm -hmm. came out now, they would either use yeah. a different word or like yeah. I just I feel like they would. That's such a hot button. Unless word. unless they use an Arab, an Arab typecast a terrorist, right? Sure. Yeah. I mean, 
as Germans, yeah. as terrorists. And that's not even really heard much of. I that's know. What, that's the, one of the best lines of the pizza. Yeah. Do I sound like a murderer of <laughs> pizza? I <laughs> fucking pizza. <laughs> I mean, that, I mean that's Steve like that is, Barry, that that's like the Barry. definitive like John McClane oh, line that defines the entire character there, the smart ass motherfucker, in the in the in the bad situation. <laughs> <laughs> I love that that they basically stonewall him here. Yeah. FCC violation. That's <laughs> there we go. Yeah, you, oh, d- you dumb she, bitch. He was inconvenienced by ow. Oh. Oh. It's like yeah, yeah. He just told you there's a goddamn terrorist attack going on. Oh, my ears. Right. <laughs> yeah, she knows so the terrorist, and then so she, she hears she <laughs> gunshots, and she's eh, see uh, if there's see if there's a squad a, a, a beat cop you can send over. There we go. <laughs> Who's got forty eight Twinkies? Supposedly for his pregnant wife. Look at this guy. This guy I've seen this guy <laughs> and stuff too. He was in a. Let's find the name of this mini mart. I believe this guy's Wayne's World. You need to send him a few more texts. <laughs> I can't read his shirt. A M P M. It's A M P M. Okay. Still kicking around, yeah. And look at the PayPoint cashier. That's very similar to the PayPal logo. It is. I, <laughs> I wonder if PayPoint was a uh, predecessor. <laughs> In some way, it's crazy. Yeah. Look at logo, how many logos haven't changed. Yeah, I'm looking. I see one. The see Fritos one, and the Frito, yeah, Coca Cola. There's so many that haven't changed at all. Look at that Beamer. You're gonna see a shot of. That's probably the same Beamer from the the, the shot when they went down to the garage. <laughs> Here's the gasoline price coming up here. <laughs> Seventy seven. Seventy seven cents. Premium. Oh, Holy Jesus. Seventy four. Okay, so it was seventy four in eighty eight, and in ninety eight. It was 99 cents. I was 99, when I started driving in 97, it was 90, Me too. 99 yeah. cents. 99 cents a gallon. Like 2008, it's like 350 a gallon. Right. God, man, that's <laughs> yeah. crazy. Dollar it's a gallon. Down. This is great. I love, love fucking Carl here, man. Carl the terrorist. Carl with a K. Yes, Carl with a K. <laughs> Just, the, K, the case for Kelly. You, you get to, everything Goodenough does with this character, man, just makes him look so it's a fucking sh- badass. It's a shame Carl. that he died, though, man. Yeah. I mean, the way IMDb word it, it's definitely an overdose of some sort. <laughs> but natural causes. Yeah. Well, the, they, they did quote unquote natural yeah. causes. Oh. I had to look up on Wikipedia for it. Maybe he had like detail. a, you know, a cocaine heart attack. <laughs> and so interesting, because again, this is based on that novel, and apparently, so much of the stuff is in the novel that, that this wasn't created by the screenwriter. All these action set pieces really? were. In the novel, they just apparently a lot of the changes are mainly just like character based and maybe dialogue based and whatnot. But basically, the the set pieces are from the novel. So That's it's like it's, it's it's pretty amazing to think that a novel was written towards this sort of cinematic ideal. Or something that was supposed to start Frank Sinatra. That's crazy <laughs> to think. What was that actor's Good. name again? Carl Alexander Goodenough. 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 <laughs> the the story in this film is actually kind of cool. I mean, mm-hmm. that he just by happenstance was uh, girls. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're right. There landmark. You um, yeah, and it helps you know he's egg. a cop, and yeah, you know it's kind of a you know one against three hundred yeah. kind of yeah. scenario, and it's your it's your your average eighties plot where it's one guy taking on a. Fucking militia. Legion of people. <laughs> right, where they all can't hit but, shit with a machine gun. Yeah. and yeah. But at least, I mean, that, that's kind of the, the, the difference with this film is that, I mean, you had Rambo First Blood Part 2 where it's kind of like over the top and all that type of shit and it's like an invincible freaking hero. This guy's getting beat the shit through the whole film. He's getting cut up and wounded. It's and more believable. Charred. Yeah, and that, I mean, that was kind of like, apparently McTiernan really wanted to he just on Predator with Schwarzenegger and everything. He really was just kind of didn't want to do invincible hero action guy. He wanted to have someone more average, everyday looking dude going yeah. through a realistic mm-hmm. scenario. Well, here's your Gutenov trivia here. The guy, <laughs> that, the guy was actually a, he was actually Russian, and he was a he was actually a trained ballet dancer. From well Russia. then, there you go. And the cause of death actually was complications from hepatitis due to chronic alcoholism. 
That's complex. Son of a bitch. I see it. <laughs> Should have been gone. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he wasn't singing there? I'm sorry. <laughs> Something stuck in my head for days last week. So. It's probably my top three favorite song of all time. Yeah. And Don't Stop Believing is my number one favorite song of all time. So this is never going to get old. <laughs> this is a frightening shot. Oh, yeah. He's not listening to any rules, yeah. man. Is this where he does this ridiculous, like, swing over to the other... It kind of sort of yeah, falls yeah. and everything, yeah. He's got to, like, jump. Might as well. Which I think, uh, according to IMDb trivia, the uh, stuntman actually missed his mark and then grabbed the next one down from that. I think he was actually supposed to be able to grab this one and then it fell down and whatnot, but... As of the scene. Oh, right there. Yeah, yeah he did yeah. miss it. Huh. Unplanned miss? Unplanned miss. Claimed, anyway. Huh, interesting. Now, we were just talking about something like this in one of the commentaries. About how you can't actually go through a duct? <laughs> yes. These things aren't built for, to hold weight of a human. No. They're also full of nails and screws. Yes. And my, my claustrophobia drives me nuts just looking at this scene right here. <laughs> yeah. He'd be oh. so cut up oh, from, yeah. you know, it's like that raw metal. Yeah. Or, like, this is yeah. such a movie thing. Or, or maybe or maybe Takagi spent a couple of bucks here, you know? He got <laughs> premium ducts. Titanium duct work. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I don't want premium those shitty, I don't want those shitty ducts that you give the average Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a goddamn international businessman, and I want quality premium ducks. ducks. <laughs> oh, oh, it's so good. <clears throat> when in doubt, just shoot, just it shoot, it shoot it all. Shoot it all. Shoot everything. Shoot it all. And it missed. <laughs> yeah, this is this is a good way. <laughs> it's so perfectly suspenseful. Yeah. <laughs> What's going to happen? Yeah. Great lighting. <laughs> yeah. I mean that's that's a beautiful shot with the, yeah. the great lines. And I, I just see the reverse. I just see an eye of Carl there, and everything. Just like that's all you need. Why wouldn't yeah. he just shot? I mean, I guess the other yeah. guy came oh, in yeah. and would have shot back, but. Yeah. Yeah. Here comes your your brown tank top. Yes, yeah, they really just gave him an olive green tank top here. It wasn't. It, it was still. Look at white that shit. That's two not, minutes earlier. Yeah, there's no way it's that. That's not the same <laughs> one. And if that's the case, what kind of air quality is going on in Nakatomi Tower? <laughs> They're what kind of shit are they breathing in? If that's what's in their duct, he paid. He paid a lot of money for those ducks. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> you should not have to suffer those. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And of course he's gonna say, you know, nothing's there. <laughs> Who's driving this car? Stevie, Stevie Wonder. <laughs> Is that really a good joke? Not, not the cleverest thing, but it's his delivery. Let's go with that. Yeah, I suppose you're right. It's all in the delivery. Ah, uh, Huey Lewis. Huey Lewis and Stevie Wonder in a beautiful duet. <laughs> a little slimmer than he was back in uh, Family Matters. I mean, he's still a bigger guy, but yeah. Family Matters, he was just not trying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <clears throat> he got Harriet and he was good. <laughs> uh, 
So it's like so- Southern Huey Lewis guy. That's right. You got Black Theo, you got the Asian dude, and then everyone else is just a, a German mercenary. Should have gotten Huey Lewis. They, they had him in uh, right. Back to the Future. Why not? <laughs> you had that cameo there. <laughs> Let's could record a Christmas song. Sure. You know, the fucking uh, you know I don't. I don't think Huey Lewis and the News ever did a Christmas album. I don't think or so. a Christmas song. One of the worst bands I've ever seen live, though. I was really. Oh. I they're they're one of my favorites. I love I've, them. I've never I've never seen them live. I won tickets mm. for free uh, from like the oldie station. Mm. Saw the that, oldie station. Yeah, there Fuck was a, you. I was like, I turned on the radio. It was like <laughs> it was like seventh caller gets free tickets and a limo and skybox. I'm like, mm. and, I, and I won. Oh, they, yeah. were, they were awful. Where was it at? Horseshoe Casino. Okay. Oh. <laughs> well, the VIP was great. Uh, I was going to say, he was just watching a football game. Okay, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> I want a new drug. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot him all, <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> There's, is that Takagi's brains all over the? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's Takagi's that, brains. That is Takagi. Oh, that's a very smart piece of glass now. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the hell with this, right? Is that what he says? Yeah, <laughs> yeah the hell with this. <laughs> like, what does that mean? Bitch. Yeah, it's he so took like he took like four <laughs> steps. You're the like, worst ah, cop. Ah, How did you get a job, time. you dick? <laughs> I don't need this shit. <laughs> Got a pregnant wife. <laughs> Which is a rib in and of itself. This guy's I believe he's here. homosexual, isn't he? I think he is. Yeah. He wouldn't have a wife. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> I love right that he shot him in the right in the shins. I love it. Right up in the thighs. That was a, that was a good kill. He's so one liner in this movie. <laughs> here we go. Where are you going? <laughs> you stupid son of a bitch. <laughs> singing. Yeah, I don't know who's singing. <laughs> if this is it. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I should have <It's> been gone. <laughs> singing Let It Snow in L.A. <laughs> you've never, no, you've never that guy, seen snow. The guy snow. up in the office was singing Let It Snow. Al Powell's never seen snow. It's Los Angeles. Yeah. There was plenty of snow in that office earlier. <laughs> right up Ellis's oh, nose. Oh, yeah. There we go. That was a and great shot. That's the stuff. God, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to attack. Oh, shit. <laughs> I love that he just backs up right into the... Welcome to the potty, pal. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking, oh, that's, that's oh, fucking that's wild. wild man. Just... Argyle, baby. Rocket to the... Argyle has no clue what's going on. He's, How he's many having... things are you going to drive? You do have a break. You realize you have a break, right? <laughs> like Argyle's got champagne. He's got a big bear. He's got a fucking stereo. He's got a fucking mobile phone. Argyle, don't He's, he's a having a fucking fuck. rich time there, man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this... Here we go with the Twinkies. You know, all those rappers I think it was McDonald's out. rapper. That's an egg McMuffin <laughs> rapper. That looked like, look like McDonald's rapper. No, no bullshit. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Look at all the rubber gloves. Oh, you gotta work, you lazy bastard. Get up there. Wolfgang! <laughs> this this son of a bitch, man. Another guy from Ghostbusters. Another Ghostbusters guy, you're right. Part one. <laughs> but he's an asshole. He's an asshole. He, he asshole number two. Asshole. Yeah. He's, he's the credit, yeah. Yeah, he's the heel in the first... You got both heels. Yeah. You got, you got the, the, the heel from part one and part two in one fucking movie. And those aren't even Fox movies, are they? Ghostbusters? No, they're uh, Columbia. They're Columbia. God damn it. <laughs> World's colliding. Mass hysteria. <laughs> That's our club here, Says the coke fiend. Yeah. Oh man. I get his, I, I get, he's cool. He's keeping yeah. cool. He's got it all under control. Oh, here we go. This is this is great. <laughs> nice camera move there. Yeah. I can't get over the brains on the window. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a lot of brains that, that flew like five feet behind him. 
He had a, he had a, guy had a big head. He had <laughs> big a head. Big ass head. <laughs> Bruce Willis really is like that buddy you know like I know people who just talk like him and look like him like he just he really is that average guy who just finds himself in like action sequences for a living that's great I mean it's a character that inherently is just not a hero whatsoever just like that's that's the idea he's gotta do what he's gotta do in the situation because that's what he's gotta do he always usually plays like a ballsy character he's just not yeah. scared to try to do what he's got to do. Yeah, to like fix last the action, uh, last Boy Scout. Yeah, yeah. Donald's luck burned out type of guy, but got to do it. I believe this tank top actually sits lower because <laughs> the entire tuft of chest hair is now exposed. <laughs> I always love it when people in movies make a, a joke about watching movies. Rambo, yeah. too. Watch Rambo that. reference. Rambo. <laughs> There's some shade on Stallone again. And here comes the line. Mr. Cowboy. There we go. <laughs> who'd have thought that? I mean, again, he really only speaks in one-liners. But who'd have thought that that would be... Such a thing. Didn't they get voted as like one of the greatest lines in and movies? I, I wouldn't do? doubt yeah, it. Yeah, it's, like, it's like top ten, I think. Yeah, it's, it's every freaking Die Hard film. Oh, yeah. I mean, of, they, co- of course, in the fourth film, when they released it theatrically, it was PJ-13, so they had to kind of tiptoe around the motherfucker line. This film of a page. Eat it, Eat it Harvey. Harvey. I love it. I love Eat It Harvey. Eat It Harvey's <laughs> a great line. The, the look, the oh, look yeah. Harvey, the look Harvey gives him is look phenomenal. At, look at the hairdo so on this dude, man. Fucking! This is every sleazy newscaster. <laughs> and she was in Lethal Weapon. She's the uh, psychiatrist. Yes, this you're right. Real. And she plays this role in like three other fucking movies. Really? This, this exact news anchor. I think they're all like Joel Silver movies too. I'll, you know, if I, I'll take it, man. <laughs> is I'm Silver? Keep you I love this shit. Man. Is Silver the one who died? No, he's still kicking oh, around. Oh, okay. Who? who yeah, I was. Guy. I was thinking of uh, the other one, the other the guy with the coke overdose. Yeah. 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 Uh, that I was oh thinking. yeah, the Don Simpson. Don Simpson. Simpson. With, with Jerry Bruckheimer. Bruckheimer. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He, man, yeah. that guy knew Coke. We we need a Simpson Bruckheimer commentary at some point, like Bad Boys or some shit. They talk about. We do The Rock or something one day. The <laughs> Rock would be good. Yeah, that, that'd be a good one to do. <laughs> there, there's a you could get into like a whole biography of Don Simpson, man. Yeah, he was nuts. But yeah, Joel Silver. He, oh, Al Powell. Al Powell, baby. Yeah. Yeah, Joel Silver was like one of those power producers, like The Matrix. Yeah. And, uh, if it wasn't Bruckheimer and Simpson, it was pretty much Joel Silver producing that action movie. <laughs> party, line. party line. Yeah. There's a there's a reference yeah. that a lot of people don't get. Oh yeah. I had somebody the other day at work asked me, no, it wasn't at work, it was my one of my good friends mm-hmm. asked me if uh, I had a party line when I was a kid, being an <laughs> asshole because he was insinuating that I'm old. <laughs> That's the party line. I said, no, you fuck, I didn't have a party line. <laughs> we did have a and, rotary and, phone, and though, so I yeah. guess. <laughs> <laughs> and there's just a Schwarzenegger reference. Yeah, they're really tied it in. like... <laughs> now we're actually getting like McLean having some real dialogue in the film here kind of showing the kind of cop that he's made out of the little things he's picked up on with these guys you know talk to Powell about it and trying to like reason everything out there's another scene where he's kind of like he's kind of losing it right or not losing but he's kind of like tired and yeah. yeah, he's like, hang in there, buddy. You yeah. got this. I'm with you. Al Powell's here to yeah. see you through. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure they do all the work and get yeah. you out of here. <clears throat> I love that Carl, Carl with a C. Mm-hmm. Winslow becomes like 
the lead on this thing, bumbling idiot cop, and yeah. suddenly he's the one who knows. Yeah. He's the trusted figure yeah. on the ground. Yeah, even though he was ready to give up. Oh, the hell yeah. that place. <laughs> 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 Fucking bastard. He's some Christmas crank call or some shit. Oh, uh, here we go. This fucking guy. Paul Gleason from Paul the Gleason. Breakfast Club. Pre- <laughs> Playing pretty Prince much the same character. <laughs> Prince of the Breakfast Club. I know this guy, too. The guy playing the, uh, the radio cop here. Mm. He's been in something. Mm. <laughs> Man, this film just got fantastic character after fantastic character. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I take it back. They use the word terrorist like in every scene. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, it's, it's terrorist, yeah. man. That's it. Yeah. We're in here. And there's not one Middle Eastern guy to be found. Not a one. No. That's what I'm saying. That's that, 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 You're right. <laughs> the, the the word is taken on life of its own. Like It means something else <laughs> yeah. <now> completely. <laughs> I mean, it's so funny. It's like... Look at this little TV. <laughs> Watching Green Acres. That shit won't work no more. Yeah, unfortunately. I used to think those <laughs> things were so cool. Like, you got that was all horrible. Like, what? I have this in the bathroom? <laughs> That's awesome. This is nice. She's able to judge with him a little bit. Oh, so she's like second in command. At yeah. No yeah. wonder she left New York. Yeah, I'd be like, yeah. straight into I'm making like 500000 doing this. Yeah. Why don't you fly your ass to LA? <laughs> she left her marriage. Well, I'm kind of making like half a million dollars, though. <laughs> Running this place, it makes it such a plausible scenario. Yeah. why he would want to stay in New York, and because if you're a cop, you're married to the job. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he says there's like I got six month back backlog of guys I got to put away and all this type of shit. Case load, I just can't up and leave. I'm gonna be subpoenaed for shit all over the place. I got to finish <clears> on <throat> cases. So that's why she can afford a, the nanny. Yeah. True. She's got the cash. Miss Holly. That's nice. We'll zero in on the, 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 the family photo she turned over to make sure that he hasn't seen it yet. But it picked up on something, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Director of Corporate Affairs. Yeah. 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 Because he references the name, yeah. right? Like Gennaro. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's kind of interesting that, like, Powell's the only competent cop outside of the Nagatomi yeah, building. Yeah, it, it is weird. Everyone else is just a complete moron. Speaking of morons, <laughs> he's what's this weird, like, upper lip thing that he's got? <laughs> he's got, like, a g- double lip gum thing? Yeah, what is that? Yeah, weird wrinkle in his it's lip. A, it's, it's a, a wrinkle. lip wrinkle. It's a lip wrinkle. Yeah. That's a giant-ass lip. It's a It's a linkle. A <laughs> Lincoln. Look well, at this fucking limo. It's got a fucking TV and everything. I'm like, well, the, yeah. I why mean, do you gotta even leave leave the fucking limo? You got a CB radio. You got champagne. I remember the first time I sat in a limo. My it was 1988. My uncle's wedding, and I just like went at me and my friend chilled mm. in the limo outside, and Rocky IV was on, on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget that. That was the best. Yeah, only time I ever were in limo was like 92, 93, and we were taken uh, into the airport to go to Florida. Is there a TV? Disney World. I don't know, it was like <clears throat> 5 o'clock in the morning or some shit. I don't remember the first... The first time I remember a limo ride was 1996. I got a birthday gift of tickets to a wrestling event at the uh, Rosemont Horizon. Okay. And we got... Uh, we we took a limo, and there was nice. a whole bunch of us. Yeah, the limo dropped us off at the door and then picked us up and brought it home. Somebody it was like up. part of my birthday gift. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah. yeah. 96 were some lean years, though, to go to a wrestling show. Well, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, I think it was... Uh, I mean, I don't want to break down the card because <laughs> that's not what we're here to yeah. do, but but uh, it was all right. It was oh. in... Uh, the yeah. Shawn Michaels heyday. All I know is what? that Bret Hart got robbed at Mania 12, and Shawn Michaels didn't <laughs> yeah. draw as well as a chance. I'm just going to leave that oh, right okay. there. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Let's leave that for the <laughs> commentary. All right, so so coming up next month, we're all going to do commentary on WrestleMania 12. <laughs> we're all going to argue about who was a drawing champion. <laughs>
Diesel. Back to the nope. Sl- <laughs> false. Back to back to. The I th- saw Kevin Nash in the airport one time. Unbelievably tall man. I, I saw him at a Comic Con once. I he didn't. I didn't give him any down. money because <laughs> Nash has got enough money as it is. All right. Guaranteed contract. Sorry. Back we digress <laughs> again. We really digress. Sorry, folks. Refer, refer to Trent and I's uh, noble Three part commentary. On commentary. That's what happens. <laughs> anyway, back to movies. Nakatomi put in gates like that? I feel, like, yeah. I feel like all buildings should have those. Like, why yeah. not? That's a really good security feature. Yeah. Lock the building down when you leave, man. <laughs> nobody, can, nobody can get shit in and out. You're good. This computer set always made me think of Terminator, Terminator 2. I was, gonna, I was about to say that. It's, the scene I right mean, here. it's the same fucking lighting and everything. <clears throat> Even, like, the layout and everything. And the yeah. way sh- they shoot out of the fucking... Yeah. Room. Yeah, the whole thing is... You can, like, do a, a super cut between, like, him and Sarah Connor and get blown away. You do that. I'm sure yeah. you can pull one of those together. <laughs> or what's his name with the, with the bomb trigger? Yeah, uh, yeah. Joe Morton is uh, Dyson. Dyson. This is always a weird thing. You know, a little beat to throw in there is like they're running through the brush and the guy gets this weird, weird comedy beat. Hey, they they got Nestle Crunch and Raisinets here? Yeah. Come on. Yeah, like the, st- the building store. Look at all that product. <laughs> Mars bars? <laughs> Have you ever had a Mars bar? Mars is really good. Mars is a very underrated candy bar, man. You, you, you don't see them too often. No, you don't. That's why I asked. But here's, here's more comedy. Yeah, it goes, this, it takes... this one works, though. I like this beat. Hey, look, he's, he's, he's busy terrorizing What's he get, an M&M? He's he freaking gets hungry, a man. Nestle Crunch. He gets a Nestle Crunch? The guy was fucking hungry. <laughs> like, Who wouldn't want a Nestle Crunch if it was sitting right in front of you? I agree. I, I, I take it. Dude's hungry. He's been terrorizing all night. <laughs> not, not like they ordered lunch. You know? Yeah, he hasn't been in with the hors d'oeuvres. He's been up on the, yeah, the yeah. roof setting he's, bombs. He's been on the shitty end of this. They've only yeah. been doing it for 45 minutes. <laughs> Well, Clearly, he, he went to Ralph's right before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this idiot's defeated. Well, ah, big, okay. big surprise, idiot. You went the wrong way. You... I love the bear in the, the rear bear. view. <laughs> what a weird shaped ear the Argyle's got. Yeah. Did, you see, did you get a look at his ears? Argyle's a goofy looking guy. <laughs> got a lip wrinkle and a macho assholes. <laughs> macho assholes. <laughs> oh, take it. I love that shit. <clears throat> I just love the fact that, like, these tech guys, this white guys, like, they think they got it all figured out. It's like, you are so <laughs> fucked right now. This is, like, actually a really good scene. Cause they're, they're, all the terrorists are just so calm. Yeah. Yeah, you know, they're just like, the like one's eating, he's like, you're chill, we got this down. Yeah, you, know, you and your assault rifles, yeah. We, we, got, we got artillery, motherfucker. All of them. Can we talk about all the good cop mustaches <laughs> in this movie? Oh, yeah. I love a good cop mustache. That's a bad he, mustache. He's chewing he's down to something he's else now. He's got the Mars going on. Yeah, he's binging, man. There's some good... Uh, he needs a Coke now. Juicy fruit gum there to wash it down when he's done. <laughs> Just shooting at the lights. More Fucking up. Carl Winslow knows what's up. <laughs> I guess... Ro- oh, oh. <laughs> I just said that, you dumb son of a bitch. <laughs> I, I, I wish you made like I, mean, I wish you made like the typical like like white uh, black guy to white guy joke. Like man, this white motherfucker. Right? <laughs> 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 no, but he's whiter than that guy. Yeah, that's true. He's the whitest see, black guy. See, if it was Samuel Jackson as Al yeah. Powell, that's what you'd get. Yeah, that'd be right. great. <laughs> man, this vanilla white. this vanilla cookie motherfucker right here. Goes, Tell me, <laughs> <laughs> shooting the lights. <laughs> I just done said that they were shooting the lights. <laughs> And done. Uh, One shot. It's like they're wasting time drilling through the freaking door. Why doesn't like, he have a mustache? I want to know. Well, 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 yeah, this, little, this little bastard's actually, I mean, for the, for the character, <laughs> yeah. he's really good. This guy's oh, annoying yeah. the fuck oh, out yeah. of me, though. Yeah, but he's, Theo, he's perfect. He's perfect. Oh, right? He's, he's great. He's good at what he's doing. Yeah. He's Cops top five have, characters in this movie. <laughs> Cops have an RV. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The way he says, <laughs> fucking rocket launchers and shit. Yeah, they, go, they, they go heavy, man. It's like, Jesus Christ. Well, That's what he just said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. That shirt's fucking brown. Yeah. I don't care what anybody says. Look at the birch trees in the office. <laughs> Noodlehead guy. 
Oh, don't do that. <laughs> you, you break it, you buy it. Fucking Vigo being the being the dummy. <laughs> Look at this artillery, man. Jesus. You're telling me he could carry that? That's I, a two man job. I don't it? believe it. They, they present him to be like eight feet tall in Ghostbusters, <laughs> though. Like, oh, yeah. He's a giant. What is this vehicle? Is this a real thing? It's like yeah. a battering ram type of shit. Yeah. It's, it's like, Did they still have this? Yeah. Get your sister on the horn. <laughs> find out. I, I want to know if this vehicle. I need, I need to know if you know if the poli police artillery <laughs> inventory. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I got to go to bed. <laughs> it's two hours earlier there. Exactly. She ain't doing shit. It's seven o'clock. <laughs> that'd, be the, that'd be the excuse to get off the phone on this conversation. <laughs> Like this is ridiculous. Like they 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 oh, ran it up. Oh man, we have our first explosion. <laughs> they, 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 they run this thing up the, the freaking steps, then it like, gets impeded by the fucking yeah, railing. The railing, <laughs> that that strong thing couldn't even take down a railing. <laughs> Aluminum post stops them dead in their tracks. Mister Cowboy. Mister Cowboy. <laughs> I like Mister Cowboy. Or, or the, uh, the uh, when uh, the, the television version. When he says, yippee ki -yay, motherfucker, it's yippee ki -yay, Mr. Falcon. Mr. Falcon? And it doesn't sound like Bruce Willis oh, at all. God. <laughs> Mr. Falcon? At least, how, at least how it was before. I think they changed it. They just kind of like bleep over it or something. On the... But, but uh, like back in like when it was like analog TV, that's when they just dubbed over fucking swear words. On the uh, the TV version of Snakes on a Plane, uh, there's the famous line about, uh, I'm sick and tired of these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. Oh, yeah. And the TV overdub is, I'm tired of these Monday Friday snakes oh, on this Monday Friday, Friday plane. Oh, Monday Friday plane. And so for 10 years, every once in a while, I'll just use Mon Monday Friday. <laughs> When I, instead of motherfucker, because <laughs> I think Monday Friday is the greatest, the greatest overdub in the history of overdubs. Here we go, Geronimo. Geronimo. Where's the C4 uh, on that? Is that oh what? yeah, C4, C4 the under monitor. the monitor. Okay, yeah. This is a great shot right here. Oh yeah, that. Whoa, that's, baby, that's a money shot that's right phenomenal. there, man. <clears throat> you just. <laughs> They haven't even finished building. The Look at bill. this. Look at that. Oh, my God. That's <laughs> oh, so good. That right there. That's the shit He's right dead. there. There's no way he lives through that. That is fantastic. There's also, should have been gone. There's no way that they... That they <laughs> every time he walks in, should have been, should have been gone. <laughs> every time. There's no way that, that he would have lived through any of that or that, the, oh, yeah. that Hans didn't, like... The building didn't even shake. Didn't co collapse in on itself or some shit. Yeah. Right. I mean, there's only one thing but, in G4, I mean, let's be real. <laughs> but, yeah, but it's funny it's like, made that big of a, a boom. <laughs> but it's funny, it's like, in real life, they haven't even finished constructing the whole building, and they're blowing it up for the movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that hairstyle in that photograph. Like Mo Howard. <laughs> 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 He's also a newscaster at something else too. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. You yeah, mentioned it. Yeah, yeah. I've seen it. Here we go. Here, here, here's the sentimental part. I'm doing alright, buddy. Just hang in there. You <laughs> just check it. Right. Just check it. Like, 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 he gets really emotional here. Like, look at this. You can just hang in there. You do understand me? You'll give up oh, yeah. now. <laughs> That's a great line. A shitload of screen doors. <laughs> oh, this isn't the one. Uh, jump the gun. I'm really waiting for that emotional one. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's a little later and on. That's what, when uh, gets the glass in the feet. Glass oh, in the feet. Yeah. yeah, that's right. We're gonna have the the emotional beat. <laughs> well, that's, that's <laughs> little, but there's uh, this nice little foreshadowing there. Foreshadow for yeah. sure. Because it's shit about glass, right? You're gonna care about it in about ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I love our cop. <laughs> oh God! Put the other guy back in. You know what I hate about these about movies? Um, is that anytime there's two people talking on a walkie-talkie, they start talking over each other, and we all know yeah, as real possible. adults that. What, hey, if look, you've got it keyed... I, lo I love you. So do the other guys. Here it is. 
He said, he said, he said, I love you, man. All the other guys do too. It's like, I, it's, it's like, it's like a fucking long distance uh-huh. phone relationship. I, was like, I love you. Oh, he's still doing the toot. <laughs> oh yeah. Little toot ski on oh, the good, side. Because he's getting up his uh, freaking. This, this is great. The nose line, the full line, of courage. The line he delivers here during this, <laughs> this negotiation coming up. <laughs> oh, he's just so sleazy, man. And they've done a little subtle Just thing here talk. where the uh they put makeup on him <laughs> to make him look like he's paled he, out he's oh, yeah. yeah he's flushed yeah. he's you know he's done he's all coked up oh yeah <laughs> it's not what i want and this guy give you. this guy yeah, kind of looks like just, joe elliott from yeah. def leppard oh yeah so, a little bit we've got all the rock stars covered in this film <laughs> John Bon Jovi. That line right there. So it's not what I want. It's what I can give you. <laughs> Such a fucking oh, yeah. sales guy. <laughs> He's a schmuck. <laughs> like oh, camel jockeys. There you go. Yeah, camel maybe jockeys. It's the heaps. Maybe it's an orla. <laughs> Jesus. That doesn't hold up very well. That doesn't play this great in 2017. Yeah. I love this guy. Yeah, he's got I the, love this character. He's so got what the 80s man? power suit. Look this guy up, man. I gotta look this guy up. Look him up. Uh, Hart yeah. Bachner. God, he's got good teeth. Oh, yeah. Great teeth. I mean, they're a little yellow, but that's fine. That's all right. That's. I mean, guy likes a cup of coffee with his Coke. <laughs> <laughs> Carl just keeps I love this. He like puts his feet up on the desk. Yeah. This, is, this is nice, kind of faking out the audience a little bit. Like you think Ellis is gonna out Holly or whatnot, yeah. use her as, right. as thing, but he's gonna instead trying to make it like he's the buddy. He, uh, it's nice. He, he, he just recently was on Criminal Minds. Cool. Still <laughs> kicking around. Yeah, he's done, done some stuff. Let's see. Anything else to note? Yeah, sure. Let's see, see what else he did in oh, close, there's some coffee. close to this time. I know he was in something else. <clears throat> who, a little bit more Whose thermos there. of coffee is this? I guess <laughs> maybe there were people out there working earlier in the day. Maybe. Oh, you know, I know from his uh, Mr. Destiny with <laughs> Jim Belushi. Oh, jeez. And he was also in Supergirl. Okay, yeah, yeah that's why I flashed on. It's all clean shaven in that movie. Really too crazy. Oh man, these two are definitely mm. best friends now, huh? Oh yeah. I love you, buddy. You're my boy. We're gonna get through this together. Then we're gonna have a beer. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Nice. I like 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 the photography there. Yeah, that was good. Just like again, all in the facial. Yeah. He didn't have to say anything. Yeah. I just like this, like, over-the-shoulder, like, uh, kind of revelatory type of thing. Again, they're kind of leaving the audience hanging on, on the edge of things. And there was another one where... Because he thinks it's the wife. Yeah, he's scared to shit. <clears throat> God, the, the sleaze. He's like, he thinks he's in with these guys. Oh, yeah. A lot like when they start pouring, pouring the Coke out, the, uh, the the Coca-Cola out for him. <laughs> yeah, I like this. Yeah, thing. This they're, is great. they're trying to make him seem like they're, they're, they know they're going to kill him anyway. Yeah. <laughs> One way or another, he's the guy who can fucking get a bullet in the head. I do love a delicious Coca Cola. Yeah. He gives them to him in a glass. He could just give him the can. Yeah. They poured it for him, man. Yeah, it's, yeah. Al- it's al- always better in a glass. Sure. They only gave him, they a, gave him a sip. <laughs> you dick. Well, they're going to kill him anyway. <laughs> That's what it is. <clears throat> Oh, shit. Is, mm-hmm. Did we ever establish, um, I know we talked about this briefly mm. before we started, but 
Does this movie take place on Christmas Eve? Yes. Yeah. It's officially Christmas Eve yes. right now. Mm -hmm. None of these people are concerned about going home to their families. <laughs> Come on. I mean, not the terrorists so much, mm -hmm. but like even the other party goers have not. I mean, obviously they're concerned they don't want to die, but mm -hmm. I don't know. It's just weird. Mm -hmm. Like, who has a Christmas party on Christmas Eve? Sure, yeah. that's like, a good point. you know what I mean? Like, that's weird. Like, my company's having it but this week, this Friday. Sure, it's way before Christmas. Two Eve. weeks out. Yeah, but it is a Japanese company. That's true. It's not the religion. Maybe what? they might be shutting down for the whole rest of the month. Maybe were they only were they serving Chinese food? Well, well, also because they did say that they just like closed the big uh, deal or whatnot. I think. Oh yeah. So, so it might so, not even a be a Christmas party. And we get a censored kill. Thing? Yeah. What was the point of that? They probably tested it bad with audiences. Like, oh man, we don't like when they killed. Well, I think they, they wanted to show like Holly and everyone else's reaction to it instead of like. The kill itself. Ooh. <laughs> well done. <laughs> There's no way that he's the only competent cop on here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I pretty much in Roger Ebert's first reaction to the film, he hated this character. Really, Deputy Robinson, he, he Paul Gleason's character, he just he thought he killed the whole movie for him. Well, Later on, he kind of retracted the entire thing. Well, his logic is it, stupid, but, though. That's the problem. Yeah, you know, it's like you're not even like a good chief. You're like your logic is completely flawed. Smell I mean, what he, you're he's shoveling. basically there to make Powell look like a really solid guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it works. I mean, you love the hell out of Powell's character because, I mean, he's just, like, steadfast well, in everything he does. Well, he's a lovable, yeah, you know, sidekick kind yeah. of guy. Hans Gruber <laughs> is... Even the name... Yes. ...is just top-notch. Eloquent. So does the name Hans Gruber mean anything <laughs> to you, detective? <laughs> <clears throat> now that's a good shot because yeah. they don't focus. Oh on yeah! Them. Oh, I like that. It's nice and subtle there. They just kind of body still passed there right by. Yeah, yeah they, they shifted to yeah. a terror to an actual terrorist, like, like a political thing, right? Is that what they're doing right here? Like they're, they're shifting the intention. Yeah, to throw them off. Is that the idea? Is? Gruber's trying to buy himself more time yeah. by making them run around, right? Chase their tails around, doing random nonsense, right? So they shifted into like an agenda, yeah. right? Yeah. They have comrades in arms in all these different countries. I want you to free them and all this type of shit, which will buy them like a couple right. hours. Bring us a helicopter, shit. yada yada. Yeah. Two hours to comply. Because it basically it keeps the cops busy. You're right, though. Otherwise, if they're standing out there, they're, they're itching to do something about it. Yeah. You're right, though. And Ebert, I never have said this before, <laughs> but he was right yeah. that... That char that character wouldn't be the chief of police. No, I mean no, he was awful. <clears throat> whatever he is, yeah, de deputy. We don't have the authority. Nonsense, yeah, like there's no way that that guy got the job. Oh, he's so calm. Mm -hmm. Christmas miracles. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, uh, no. everyone is enjoying yeah. this during yeah. their own Christmas parties at their <laughs> home and. They sat down with the family and listened to us three idiots talk during <laughs> your favorite Christmas movie. We're talking over it completely. Yeah. I didn't get to hear the yippee kai of the idiots. <laughs> <I'm glad. laughs> right. Stop talking about wrestling, guys. So <laughs> fucking more is talking about Shawn Michaels. <laughs> what the fuck is this now? <laughs> Jesus. But like there a moment goes like uh, Hans just let Carl off the, uh, the the leash off of him. Go hunt him down. Do what I have to. And I was like, yeah. Hey, you know, you can hashtag this with Shawn Michaels. You can, you <laughs> hashtag that, HBK. You can put that as a keyword in your YouTube search. <laughs> <laughs> we, get, we get that traffic in now. Uh, I hope that, so. How does that tie into Die Hard? Let's watch this. <laughs> the, even the psychologist guy they bring out is like, he's a freaking moron, too. I love this hairdo on this guy. Oh, oh yeah. Great new skin. He reminds me of Ron Majors. 
<laughs> he has that Ron Majors. He is. Haircut. He does look like Ron Majors. <laughs> he has that Ron Majors haircut. We apologize to anyone who's not from the Chicagoland area. Ron Majors was that, started in California, so some of his California listeners might know uh, that. Is. Maybe that was. That's Don Majors, his dad. Don <laughs> could Majors. be Ron's cousin. Don Majors. I love Ron Majors. Big fan. There he goes, Alice's body. And just, just stick him in the toilet or something. I'm still pissed that that guy back there with the headset doesn't have a mustache. There are far too many no it's mustaches. Like looking at power. There's like it. It looks so <laughs> uninterested. <laughs> just right. giving him the it's you fucking idiots. <laughs> All of you. Oh, the FBI. Look at this whole payroll going on here. This is great. Trenchcoat has a good stash, but tan coat up there. <laughs> you can't see yeah. it now, but look at all these no mustache cops. Yeah. All these, but this is the FBI now. Oh, yeah, you're right. FBI agents Johnson & Johnson, no relation. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> but uh, Is that really the line? Yeah. yeah. Come on. But uh, That's bad. I mean, it's kind of... I find... Slightly interesting because I like the Timothy Dalton Bond films, and both guys playing Agent Johnson are both in License to Kill. Really? Yeah. Wow. Robert Davi's the bad guy, and the black guy's another like DEA agent. Really? Yeah. Why did that graffiti only say Merry Chris? Yeah, I was doing <laughs> the same thing. Why is that? <laughs> <laughs> Dress the set. Yeah. Maybe somebody. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta go. Oh, <laughs> shit. Ah. Right. Somebody's coming. And, and who graffitis at Nakatomi <laughs> Tower? Who's, the, who's inside the, the stairwell? <laughs> who, who's like the Who's like yeah. the pista of janitor? Like ah, fuck apparently this day was uh, Rickman's first day, and when he originally did that jump down, yeah, busted up his knee. Really? He had to do. And the next day he shot. He had to do every other thing you see him, and he's got a knee brace on underneath his wow. pants. He busts up, he even busts up cartilage in his knee doing it on the first day of shooting. It That's was, crazy. It's like, well, shooting on one of my films. <laughs> day one, something goes wrong. <laughs> this is actually a, a pretty clever... Real clever. Yeah, yeah. move here. He, he doesn't he gets rid of his accent. Yeah. Apparently they added this in because they they, they heard that Rickman <laughs> could do a good American accent, but he's, he's, he's kind of like all over-exaggerated the scenic kind of comes off silly. But it, it's so good to just have them in Great a shot. scene earlier yeah. in the film here. Because it adds that tension here. You don't know what's going to happen. A fucking lens flare. Jesus. Yeah. A lot of them. Well, yeah, quite a few. <laughs> they didn't clean that up even for a dream bastard. Right? <laughs> Odd. Can you though? I don't know. I don't let's, think you can. You could digitally remove it if you wanted to. Wouldn't, wouldn't be cheap. Really? Yeah, you I see. I wouldn't think it was even possible. Yeah, you could paint it out, but I mean, you have to do it frame by frame and yeah, kind of look I mean, like crap. Yeah, I mean Robert Daffy there. He, he's in like fucking a million things. He's like Predator Two. Uh, yeah. Uh, in the Stallone film somewhere, I think. Only no, two no. smokes left. What a great dynamic, though. Like he's having, you know, it's like he's he's sharing, uh, bonding with like, with the the bad guy. He doesn't even know yeah. him. Like they're just like yeah. sharing the moment, right? Uh, Robert Davi's in Raw Deal with Schwarzenegger. Raw oh, Deal. Yeah. I like the tilted angle and everything, the Dutch angle stuff. It just like. So in some films it can seem style over for no reason, but for a reason it feels right when they do it in this film. They throw everything a little bit off kilter, and I think it just works like subconsciously for the audience for some reason. Yeah. It's so nice. I mean, every little thing I like. You got. Hans seeing the bare feet, and then John seeing the names on the on the thing, the directory. Clay. Clay. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Like, 
Jason lives. Jason lives. That's right. <laughs> Bill, Bill hmm. Clay, uh-huh. Bill Clay, take it, Bill Clay. <laughs> like the last name you'd ever give a character in a movie. Well, it was on the directory. Oh, yeah. It was on the other side of the directory. How did he see it? <laughs> That's a question. Probably, maybe there's a name on one of the doors up in the there offices or something. There we go. He knew. Beautiful. You think I'd give you a loaded gun, you dumb son of a bitch? (laughs) It's a great move. (laughs) I love the smug look. He's he's he's, he's like known for that, right? Like that's that's one of his his signatures. (laughs) Pretty true. That's good. Oh, it's so good. Can, do, would that really work doing the C4 with the computer monitor? Yeah. Well, you, computer, well, computer monitors, the old ones had that <laughs> that shit inside of them that, like, that's like, really flammable, too. So combine that with C4. It's, it creates like a shrapnel bomb at that point, too. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I just, but I, mean, I didn't think that. Oh, should have uh, been gone. Oh shit! Oh, <laughs> here's the class. Um, I just didn't. You know, if you'd hold a a lighter to C4, it doesn't blow up, right? <laughs> True, but uh, I think I a mean, monitor is ex- like if you smash a monitor, it's got that that stuff. And that, <laughs> the, stuff like, the stuff. That stuff. Like, that powdery it's got shit. that stuff. <laughs> that stuff. Smash a lot of monitors in my day. You know, like, fuck. <laughs> uh, fuck. <laughs> uh, look at all that stuff. I like the papers flying. That's that's a movie thing that, that doesn't yeah. happen in real life. Like there was probably some production assistant down below who like threw the papers yeah. up in the air. <laughs> Ted. Uh-oh. Ted, do it again. Ted, Ted. get up. Oh. Jesus, Ted. Have you ever thrown papers in the air before? <laughs> Stupid little bastard. <laughs> I'm just an intern. <laughs> 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 You're fired, Ted. I love how they just use his uh, Carl's eyes. I mean, just yeah, it's fucking good, man. All you have to do is see those eyes to sell it. Yes. Yeah, he's barefoot. Shoot the gloss. This is the one. Uh, <laughs> you just shot Santa. <laughs> this is the reason my dad can't watch the movie because of the glass. The glass in the foot. In the foot. It bothers my dad. He oh. Can't watch. He's like, oh god, I can't, I can't watch it. <laughs> I can't see him go through that. It's like any film that like someone's gonna stick a needle in someone's yeah. eye or something or some shit. Like, Ugh. see, nothing gets me like that, really. <laughs> I mean, I guess once in a while, I, but I can't think of anything specific <laughs> that you know really pushes my buttons like that. <laughs> so you must love the Saw movies with all those. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Yeah, the more create, I just give you style points. Yeah, the more creative. Which is what Saw is all about: the kills, style points, all day. (laughs) So so did he? Did he actually wear like foot covers or something? Yeah, there's like rubber, rubber like footies. Yeah. Yeah. Like he's definitely (laughs) walking around barefoot. He's oh, this guy's always asleep. What's his name? William Atherton. William Atherton. Yeah. yeah. Always a bastard in every movie. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Don't kill the bar cart. (laughs) Come on. Great observation. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Only thing she's so like only a wife could say this. Only John could drive someone that crazy. She's so wet for him right now. This voice. Yeah. Oh Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Marriage saved. Yeah. Yeah. 
but oh. it only lasted like <laughs> for a few months. Look at all that that's, blood, that's, man. That's oh. good blood, though. That's a good blood. Oh yeah, yeah that's nice. And you'd be, rich, you'd right? be at that point. You're afraid of just bleeding out and passing out. What is this graphic? Electronic net, electronic magnetic uh, seal that came down over everything. The, you know, it doesn't get enough credit, but the twist of him being barefoot is a phenomenal, odd twist, though. Exactly. Like on top of everything, the fucking guy is barefoot. He can't like do exactly. anything. <laughs> like, I mean, he can do everything, but he's got no shoes on. No, none of us could do that. Yeah. Like, you know, fuck it, man. I'm just gonna sit in this room. And, and, <laughs> and, and, guys... that, and that's an, just another thing of making him stand up against the Schwarzeneggers yeah. and the Chuck Norris's, all that stuff. Or just like these invisible oh, come on. kill machines. There it is. Makes you feel for the character just a thousand times more. Oh, here's the story for here's Powell's character development. He's too flirting away and shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean they just he's gonna make. Make it the godfather of his fucking child. <laughs> I mean, chances are he does want to make sweet love to Bruce Willis. Uh, yeah. That's I mean, <laughs> if we're really going to break it down. <laughs> <laughs> he shot a kid. And kind of like today, this story seems very, yeah, very familiar. Shit got good. deep, man. Yeah, it's yeah. a good line. No, oh, McLean's gonna get deeper. Yeah, McLean's like, well, but I, I mean, just killed like eight Germans in a fucking tower. <laughs> yeah, but none of them were thirteen yeah. years old. Again, this, this, this seems like this is what makes Die Hard stand out so much from all other action films. That it just takes these moments it has to, heart. To, to humanize the characters. They do, though. Yeah, I will say all of them have it. This car is upside down. <laughs> there, and there's five. I never saw the fifth one. I never saw it either. I didn't mind the fourth one. Fourth one was it was passable. Yeah, but it 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 was shot in a weird way though. Four. It's like like the color the was head, weird. And it's, yeah, and quick great. edits. Yeah, and yeah. It's, it's yeah. Very frenetic. It didn't feel like a movie. Like the a video yeah, game. Very much Lynn Wiseman style. Did the underworld. Yeah, yeah. I didn't like that at all, all that. man. Yeah. How about number how five? Did five go back to this? A little bit? I never saw it. I heard everything bad about number five. Really? I never bothered it's a shame to see that they it. They get a cap to three. Would have been fine. Yeah, Agreed. Vengeance was a great one. Yeah. Yeah. If anybody listening has seen the fifth one, leave <laughs> some comments and let us know yeah. what your thoughts are because we haven't dared to tread that way yet. No, <laughs> I don't give two shits about your switch. I mean, <laughs> I, love, I, love, I love like the. The comic. I don't give two shits about your goddamn switch. <laughs> the stereotypes, right? Yeah. The stereotype blue collar guy got dragged down there at midnight. <laughs> oh, man, I was fucking. I have Christmas Eve dinner. This is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck your switch. Oh, there you go. It is yeah. Christmas Eve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Fed throwing his weight around. Cut it. Like he's got the fucking president on speed dial or some shit. Look at this. Fucking Vietnam <laughs> telecommunication. Motorola. Walt. His name is Walt. Walt. That's so exciting. Mm -hmm. Walt Grabowski. <laughs> That's Would perfect. it be possible? Walt. <laughs> he passed away like a year or so ago. Walt That's did? Good. Yeah, that, you looked that up actor. Walt? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never yeah. Walt on. He, he, he was uh, also in the the Burbs with Tom Hanks. Okay, he Walt in Megan, huh? Yeah. Walt, uh, the Burbs yeah. is getting a, a Blu-ray release coming yes. up here soon. I'll be getting that shit. <clears throat> yeah, I saw that when it came out as a kid. I didn't get it at the time. I should watch it as an adult though. You, you appreciate it more now. I probably you, would because you get all the the horror movie uh, sort of yeah homage, homage yeah the Texas yeah, didn't Chainsaw get it. Massacre stuff all that. I, think, I mean, it came out in '93. Or 90, it might have been earlier. Yeah, it was 89. 89. Yeah, it was. I was eight years old. I didn't get it then, man. I was like, what am I watching here? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I was oh. like, this isn't big. <laughs> what is this? That was around the time I saw it, too. And I was yeah. like, yeah, I didn't get it. This is beautiful. The Ode to Joy coming in here. It's like, that has been a staple for the entire franchise, using like every trailer from this point on. 
I think I saw the birds in my blue heaven in like the same. Oh, double feature, the drive-in. I saw that. I, like, I don't get either one of these movies, man. None of these make sense to me. Look at all the artwork they just got sitting here collecting dust. That was Nagatomi's nest egg, man. Or Takagi's nest egg. <laughs> nice, I like that. I mean, pretty much from anywhere from LA, you can see downtown because like. Yeah, like they, six tall buildings and yeah, that's it they don't have much man they're, yeah. their downtown is pretty weak yeah and they're known for the mountains they got the big mountains already. yeah the Hollywood sign there look, is look, look at that look at that freaking phone I'm gonna go on record right now and I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate tweets uh -huh. for this but wait 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 before you do plug his Twitter account right now <laughs> Elgin film guy Elgin. You, can, you can you can send your hate tweets to me New York can suck it Chicago has the greatest skyline of all time <laughs> I will say I, I'm a I love New York City, but Chicago skyline is way better. Yeah, you got the you got the heartbeat looking thing. Yeah, there. yeah, so you can't beat that. It's right in the the water there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you, I love New Chicago. York City, but, Chicago yeah. wins. Mm -hmm. Skyline wise, I even I think the New Yorkers have to agree with that one. Mm -hmm. They better, and our pizza's fucking better too. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> all right, sorry. Back to diet. Well, I just lost a bunch of <laughs> <laughs> subscriptions <All> right. there. <laughs> YouTube and the links All right, drops fine. off at hour 46. Sorry, guys. Ooh. I shit the bed. <laughs> Shut it down. It oh, was. now he's no shirt. Yeah, no shirt. His shirt turned skin color. I'm here, buddy. Oh. Translucent. I just want to let you know I got no shirt on. <laughs> You'd really have a heart on if you saw me right now. All I've now. got left are pants and underwear left. I'll be right up there, buddy. <laughs> He's playing getting deep. He's so sweaty. It's a Kenwood. <laughs> Kenwood still makes walkie talkies. Most, uh -huh. I would say, almost. Every commercial walkie-talkie that you find in a, you know, in a hmm. uh, retail environment or, uh, you know, hmm. ma the major all all major walkie-talkies are Kenwoods. Hmm. It's so hard for him to fucking hmm. man up and just apologize. Hmm. It's also hurting my shit right now too. Can we get can we get bum to make a comeback? Because I yeah. think bum is such an underused. It is an underused one. Well, this guy's a bum. <laughs> I really like bum. Yeah, bum's a good one. Remember bum? bum. Remember bum equipment? <laughs> that that brand. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Jeez. Bum, you're a bum. And stinks is a good one too. Like when something sucks, stinks. you say that stinks. It just stinks anymore. <laughs> nothing stinks. Nothing stinks. Yeah, it's <laughs> like a bit sucks or shitty. Yeah, no, nothing. Nothing that stinks. stinks. That stinks. <laughs> yeah, stinks is way better. Mm -hmm. right? That yeah. stinks. <laughs> I just love the 80s and all these euphemisms. <laughs> you yeah, a bum. Mm -hmm. You yeah, a bum. Yeah. And it's nice how they just shoot this so intimately. Like they're almost sharing the same space, but not. Yeah. You can get all the, the the wider scope of it tuned out, which which is good. You know, it's yeah. like a nice way to do it. Oh, <laughs> see now that's just a dick move. He's, yeah, that's a dick like, move. This be, guy's a bum. It, it <laughs> <laughs> this really stinks. Wow, this stinks. <laughs> this stinks <laughs> this so stinks. bad. <laughs> Wow, what a, what an asshole! <laughs> He's a fucking bum. We're gonna have a debate, but who's the bigger dick, either Walter Peck or Richard Thornburg? Oh man, they're both. I mean, he's equally bad, yeah. man. They can both move. double bum, <laughs> double bum. His all of his actions. Beard stink. or no beard, you stink. Yeah. This is nice. Yeah, like, use that upper body. Oh yeah. Look at how Bruce was. I was. He, he was the believable action star. Yeah. That's what I will say. He was the guy. Like holy he's not, shit. He's not doing yeah. anything like so, like superhuman. Yeah. It's all stuff that like you could pull off. You and know? you scared yeah, the shit the whole time right, right. too. That's what I meant by believable. Yeah. yeah. Like he's so believable. Whoa, that's a good. 
I like the oh, cheek. Oh yeah. It's like yeah, you ain't you ain't twitching from there. Uh, nice. <laughs> Such good dialogue, man. Overall, just like it, it's so sharp and knows exactly where it's going it's from beat so to well beat. It's so well written, well written. For the same guy who would later give us Street Fighter the movie. Never saw it. <laughs> that wasn't good. Raul Julia was in it though. I know that. Yeah. Played Last Liza. acting performance. Yeah, I was gonna say that was right before he died. No, he did, he did another movie down well, in Brazil. There, there's a something. film that got released afterwards, but Street Fighter movie was the last one he shot. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think the last one that was released was like an HBO film or something yeah. like that. Something that took place in like Venezuela or something. So, yeah, yeah, something along those lines. He was a good actor, man. Gomez. Oh. Gomez? It, it was Gomez. Was good Gomez. <laughs> you, you, you emphasized the, uh, well, the Mez? Because in the movie... Somebody somebody does that in Anna's family. They emphasize the mess. The mess. No. The mess. And oddly, uh, speaking of Raul Julia, he's the bad guy in the rookie with Eastwood, also playing a German villain. Yeah. <laughs> he puts on some like a. Mess really, plays a German. <laughs> he plays like a bad German accent with like Sonia Braga against oh, man. Clint Eastwood and Charlie Sheen. Mrs. Shane. McLean. There it is. <laughs> there we go. I love the ca- love the camera movement, man. And the flares, though, yeah, all over the place. Well, it's nice because it's a security lighting. It's not supposed to be flattering. It, it it's stark. It works. This is the mo- this is the most movement he's done. Like he's been pretty yeah. calm. Yeah, yeah. Now it's like, can we talk about that vase that he's standing in front of? It's <laughs> the biggest vase that I've ever seen in my. That was like in the eighties. My mom had two big ass vases <laughs> that were like tall as tall as I was. Something about big vases in the eighties too. <laughs> and they're always like a pastel color. <laughs> This vase is like eight foot tall, <laughs> and it's not in the vault either. So it, it, might, it must, be, must not be worth much. Maybe one that's that tall is a vase. Well, it's got to oh, be. Yeah. Well, absolutely. that's a gray light. Sure, me. Well, yeah. That's when I broke his fucking neck. <laughs> like you imagine here in hell, man. Yeah. Like you son of a bitch. <laughs> I'll fucking kill you. Well, this, guy, this guy looks like the FBI agent in, in Vengeance, also in Diary of the Vengeance. Mm. Like, the guy who shows up later on, he looks like mm. the same guy, but mm. it's not him. But yeah, I mean, even the guys Manchin. are fucking dicks as hell. Like, oh, we'll lose 20-25% of the hostages, that's acceptable. It's good enough. I don't Let's, give a shit. <laughs> that's, it's over, t- it's over it's, 20%, Let's go. The standards in the 80s. <laughs> Like the only guys who care are McLean and Powell. It's like it just, it just by contrast emphasizes who they are instead of just FBI is all about procedure. LAPD don't know shit. No, Fucking incompetent. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. Oh, oh he did take a bite. Oh, right off the man. back. I forgot that he did shot. Jesus fuck. I thought he made it without getting shot. He really got beat up this oh. movie. Again, believable. God, God. Yeah. Because Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You so, know? It's not like Seagal, you know, Seagal yeah. never gets hurt. And I love no. Seagal. But yeah. Seagal like never gets no, hurt. I don't no. buy the fact that he with a shot shoulder blade that he would, you know, take a dive off the top rope there. <laughs> and the adrenaline's kicking in, man, at that point. Oh yeah. What do we got here? Bear bonds? Bear bonds. That's what it's all about. It's always about bear bonds. Yeah. I love that beat. Ooh. That's beautiful. That was good. Just reasserts the entire character. Ow, on his oh, yeah. shot shoulder. He's going for a little judo chop shit there. I love him and I cook you and <laughs> eat you? <Yeah. laughs> I love this. McLean's it, all fucking scrappy and shit, man. Honestly, it, it's like it is shit the average guy would just fucking say. <laughs> yeah, fucking die! I hate you so much, you piece of shit. <laughs> it's beautiful. That's thought. a great, great thing right there. <laughs> oh, it was not in the shoulder; it's in the bi- uh, Yeah, the bicep. Yeah. Thing. Which, I'd almost argue, would be worse. Like he wouldn't be able to really. Yeah. yeah. Can you can't really, imagine taking a shot? You have no upper upper strength, body strength there. You're like limited at that. Yeah. Point. <laughs> it's like it's like Tommy Lee Jones all of a sudden. <laughs> Junior, I dig it. 
<laughs> I love these two characters as much of a fucking pair of assholes. It's actually as they are. see that's not believable to me. No. Yeah. No. And this is some Michael Mann shit here. A little yeah. bit, a little bit, a little heat type of action, yeah. Nobody shoots LA like Michael Mann. No. Oh, <laughs> back to central casting for you. Yeah. What the fuck? That surprised look. Yeah. And I like that the bullets you could the shot was from behind. Yeah. yeah. He's really not affected by that bullet. <laughs> well, we just got up here. <laughs> Get the fuck downstairs! Get the fuck out of here! And this is great. They set it up so now it looks like he's a terrorist. Yeah. Because he's on the. Yeah. And they and they've already blatantly told you they really don't give a shit about casualties. So even right. if they're shooting at the wrong guy, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, on your side, you were just up on the roof shooting. <laughs> ah, get downstairs. Like a madman. Yeah, this like, fuck. didn't you think that this was a scenario that was plausible, that they might think that you were, you know, a bad guy? <laughs> now, this is a move I always just, wondered if it would work. I don't know. Aside from the fact that it would probably, like, burst some of your internal organs. Oh, yeah. More lens flares. Yeah. Nobody gives a shit about Carl. <laughs> nope. I like that fountain down there. Here's <laughs> the big shot. Here it comes. Oh, uh, yeah. Happy holidays. Oh, that's the shot. That's Whoa, the fucking shit right there, baby. Man. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> and right there, he just broke his spleen. <laughs> and his shoulder that he got shot in. And all this beautiful... His bloody oh my, feet. Oh, my God. And all this beautiful pyrotechnics is thanks to you. Ted threw the papers down the, <laughs> no, that, the window. <laughs> oh, that's badass. He just shoots the shit out of the glass that just, just goes through it. File cabinets on the top of the roof and everything just blowing up. Uh oh. <laughs> but yeah, all this pyrotechnics and everything is thanks to you, Richard Edlund, who also worked on Ghostbusters. Really? Yes. It was like his first film after he left uh, Industrial Light Magic. What a great shot that is. Uh -huh. uh, over the, you know, the chest. And he's twitching there, yeah. or shaking. He's so yeah, good. He's that, so, it's just the adrenaline It's pumping. perfect. He's so good. Oh. <laughs> I guess it gets, it's kind of nice. He gets to clean off for a tad yeah, bit here. Get a little rinse. <laughs> right. Take a dip. <laughs> that helicopter. Yeah, oh, this is so beautiful. You getting infected. That's a one-take deal right there. Oh, yeah. You better I mean, nail that, it. That, that's, that's... See that vase? Look at this <laughs> fucking vase. Yeah. There it goes. Sorry, vase. <laughs> Oh, criminy. <laughs> a nice little shower. Here's something, there again, you. that I've brought up on previous commentaries. <laughs> We're a few hours into this. In 2017, this would be national news. Yeah. <laughs> that oh, would yeah. be, I mean... Uh, uh, Facebook Live in the show. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but for now, it's just fake news, guys. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Oh, sorry, Tree. <laughs> Fucking Argyle. You serve right. no purpose, Argyle. He's going to soon. He's going to save the day. Oh, yeah. Argyle, his, Argyle does have a tie. Yeah. His three lips. How clever is that? <laughs> An ambulance. <clears throat> There's Holly. <laughs> Holly Gennaro. Holly Gennaro, hey, what the fuck? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> oh, 
She doesn't scream like no. Italian badass to me. No. De Niro. No, she doesn't. No. Got two bullets. That's all you need, buddy. <laughs> That's all you need. There's two guys in there. It's a nice little continuity there. You still had the smudges from the, the permanent marker right now. Oh, all yeah. The, 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 like the guy's name. On his wrist, yeah. I like it. They paid attention to it, man. They did it the right way. Right. They couldn't get his shirt right, but, you know, yeah. they got his arm right. <laughs> Our guy well, gets to it. take out him. Oldsmobile. Limousine. With a spark? What was that? Battery. <laughs> Not the oh, best. Argyle! <laughs> One punch to get a, take out a nerd. <laughs> that's my guy. What the fuck happened to Argyle? <laughs> whoa, 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 that's that a, was a oh, good shot. Yeah. yeah. I bet the. I wonder how many times they had to yeah, try that to get that perfect spread. Yeah. That's the shit, right? This, is, this whole thing. Stakes are high. Oh, that's, that's a cool the shot. The freaking right shot there. and everything. And Holly gets a look at him. <laughs> Yeah, and you thought. Hi, honey. And, oh. and you left him hanging. Oh, he's getting laid tonight. Oh, yeah. oh. for sure. If he can move, he is. <laughs> Doesn't have to. We just lay there, man. Yeah, that's just right. Lay the only part of your body, only one part of your body's got to work. <laughs> Similar, just to his character in uh, Pulp Fiction. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> He really does look like a million bucks, doesn't he? Oh. Uh, what, Rickman? No. No. Willis. <laughs> well, both of them, really, but I, I meant Willis. But Rickman looks like, yeah, that's two million bucks right there. <laughs> it's saying something when she's the worst looking one in the, in the scene. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah, speaking of which, it looks like I think Willis got paid about five million to do the film. Really? Five yeah. By today's standards, it's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but five million in eighty eight. Eighty eight, yeah, that's yeah. big. Now it has guys are getting thirty For mil. A t- basically, a TV star. He's done a fil- few films, but they're comedies before. Yeah. this. he's big because of moonlighting. <laughs> it just sounds so lame coming. It does. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's the harder I can roll it there. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> got to get one more in before he gets it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, oh, boy. Nice. <laughs> Through the glass. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Ted through the papers again. Good job, Ted. Hey, Ted, best intern. The be- best paper thrower of all time. If I ever want papers thrown, I'm calling fucking Ted. This is great. This is a beautiful shot. Look at all yeah. the cuts and scrapes. Yeah. It's beautiful. Ted, Ted is later known by his screen name, Vin Diesel. <laughs> <laughs> and this shot? Yeah, that's classic. They cut him loose early. Right, oh, really? they did. They that's were a doing genuine a reaction. Yeah, they did a countdown, really? three, two, one, and they like let it go at two or something, so that yeah, so that it would genuinely scare oh, him. Oh wow! Yeah. yeah, that's pretty good. Look at that. Just see how many villains get meet this kind of death, like RoboCop. Yeah, RoboCop. Dick Jones gets that thrown out the window. That actually looked like a real person. It really did, actually. How does they do that? I don't know. <laughs> That's a floater. Well, well, well oh, you man. didn't see the impact. Maybe someone did fall in the head. One of the big pillow cushions, like you uh, can't that fall far? from. You can't fall that far. I don't uh, know, man. Uh. Man, Ted did a great job with that paper. <laughs> Here you go, places, kid. Maybe one day I'll be in the movies myself. Don't get ahead. Look of at yourself. all that. Look at this ridiculous <laughs> paper. Those are all the bond. Are those all the all the bear bonds? <laughs> Maybe. They look like blank pieces yeah. of paper. I'm sure they are. Blank. Ted, man, he's just he's still throwing them up. Just, just, just make it snow, well, kid. That's right. Well, no, oh, make it snow, kid. <laughs> I like it. You're gonna go somewhere in this business, I tell you. <laughs> Thanks, Ted. <laughs> Call me Vin. Look Vin at them; they're blank pages. Yeah, they are. 
It's probably, it's, probably, it's probably the copy room that got blown up. Well, you think about the whole building wasn't a copy room. <laughs> the copy room is on the top floor. How is that building still standing? <laughs> there he is. Oh, there we he go. He knew right there. Yeah. Love at first sight. He's like, my, <laughs> my man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's an emoji with the heart eyes right there. <laughs> they walk towards him, asshole. The guy's got like cut feet. He's like, you come to me. <laughs> cut feet. <laughs> that stupid laugh. I love it. What a great so uh, spot right yeah. there. That's a good laugh. Eh? Yeah. Like, oh God, I've been through hell. That is a great way to end it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it, it's a hell of an ending. Yeah. It really <laughs> is. It's interesting that the love story was just as equally between the two men as it was between yeah. the two women. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Because it shows that platonic love can't exist. That's correct. Two grown men. That's correct. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, oh man, look at that. God's <laughs> sake. This is like this is like a fucking horror movie. It is. <laughs> you have to get that last one in there, huh? <laughs> Paper's still falling. <laughs> oh, you did it. You shot your gun. Smudge head. <laughs> yeah, that big smudge. <laughs> you did it. Yeah, you're good now. Let's get back. Right. Let's get Argyle. Oh, Argyle. <laughs> <laughs> I hope Argyle's gonna get a tip. That's exactly what I was thinking. It's like you're gonna get a big tip, boy. Of course, the guy who got the Takagi's dead. He's the one who called for the, the limo. Oh, yeah, who's tipping him? Oh, there we go. That's cool. I like that they showed it from the TV <laughs> yeah, camera perspective. Because yeah. he humiliated on live TV. <laughs> That'd be a lawsuit now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. It's almost got like an old noir ending, right? That, that shot. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. in the back. That's yeah, that's hilarious. James Cagney. And yeah. yeah. If they left it at that shot, it would have been very, very old LA. <laughs> what are those two doing on a crane, the bucket up there? Just riding around? Oh, man. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> End it with the Christmas song. Let it snow. Yeah. Well, it's already snow and paper. Yeah, snow and paper. <laughs> like they separate terrorists. <laughs> You're right. You yeah. gotta have terrorists as a separate group. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> Wilhelm von Hamburg. Who's big, yeah. big and Little Johnson? What the hell characters? Big and Little Johnson. Those are the FBI agents. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. not, not really. Johnson and Johnson. <laughs> yeah. They They're could really just true. call him White Johnson and Black Johnson. Yeah. Scott with one T. That's weird. Uh, Kim with K Y M. That's also weird. Kip Waldo. Kip Waldo's a good name. <laughs> That's a great name. I love this game. <laughs> Kip Waldo. Kip Waldo. I'm, the random cred I'm gonna look up is gonna be Kip Waldo. Yeah. Give me give me some uh, other creds on Kip Waldo. I believe I, was he in Wayne's World? The guy who since he got laid off the big <laughs> slip. Isn't that him? Oh, George Wilbur. He's uh, played Michael Myers in <laughs> oh, that was? four and six. It was right after this. Same year as this. Yeah, four. It was the same year, yeah. Kip Waldo. Actor and Dyer. Okay, he's got, got a couple of credits, guys. Yeah, Kip Waldo's got some other stuff. He's got seven. <laughs> Let's not get nuts. He was on the Wayne's World. Okay, he was <laughs> Soul Survivor in 1984. Hard Bodies in 84. This is stunt work? This is acting. Oh, work. acting work. Uh, Streets of Fire in '84. He did three. Tommy Tom Tomlinson. 
<laughs> really? Well, it had to be that obvious. Night Patrol, Brewster's Million, Die Hard, and his last. Brewster's was, Millions is a fun movie. Is it? He was the heckler at the rally, and he was he was his last credit was 1988. He played the assistant coach on a CBS School Break special. Hmm. Ah, poor poor bastard. Richard Zaro. Some great names in there. <laughs> Kip Waldo. From Michigan, he looks like a Midwestern. Fremont, Michigan. Optical supervisor Die Hard. Michael Van Him. Why would version. they? This, this is Die Hard. The whole movie's Die Hard. Why would you have to put. <laughs> have to separate it out. Right. <laughs> supervisor on 21 Jump Street. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I hope everyone watching had such a great time as we did. Yeah. That was fun. The three man commentary booth is, is pretty interesting. Yeah. Yes. It, so it's kind of your greatest hits. So thank you for supporting all of us over the years. Um, I want to be the first to wish everyone a Merry a, Christmas. A year and one month. Merry, Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas to all. Um, hopefully this becomes your new uh, thanks. No, not Thanksgiving. Christmas. Your new Christmas tradition. <laughs> um, and have plenty of top dollar toot. Top dollar <laughs> Takagi toot. Top dollar <laughs> Takagi toot. Um, <laughs> So, we all know that Die Hard 2 takes place also at Christmas. So, boys, next Christmas? I, you think, think? I, I think that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea. All right, guys. This is awesome. Yes. All right. So, that was some more credits to go. We'll let you wrap it up there, boss. Yes. So, got? ladies and gentlemen, this has been fun. It's been fantastic. And I hope you've enjoyed it as much as... You, you just said that. <laughs> I, did, I did just say that. Is this, is this the end of? Is this the? Are we capping off year one of of the reviews? Just, just a tad bit. Yeah, a little bit past. That. Yeah, the, the yeah. first one was November of last year. Why, so why, yeah. why don't you give everybody a, a thank you for 2017 from your on your behalf, being the, the head of Honcho? Yeah. Kind of thing. Well, yeah. Got, you you put I it mean, up, you put it together. So yeah. I mean. Can't do it alone. Oh, I have two well, you could. Fun, <laughs> it wouldn't be as entertaining with me alone. You're talking, man. Yeah. You don't do all the work. <laughs> but uh, I, I, I just love the fact that we've gotten so many people who embrace the commentaries, throw in such fantastic, interesting, fun comments, and just you guys just keep spreading the links around, sharing with people you think are also going to enjoy this type of stuff, and. Uh, we're not slowing down anytime soon, guys. Yeah, the, movies out there. The little experiment we, that could. I mean, we, it's yeah. kind of taken off. We got a lot of Lethal Weapon. We got a lot more of Seagulls. Yeah. And a whole bunch of... 80s horror coming up. 80s horror. Just all kinds of fantastic, fun stuff. So, guys, uh, comments below. All the likes and shares. We thoroughly appreciate it. So, guys, hit us up on social media. Our tags are in the uh, description below. And... Uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Die hard. <laughs> <laughs>